Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody this morning? I hope you're well. Now, look, we've just gone live and Rebecca Reed's coming in muttering about stories and everything like that. Oh, Delphine's arrived. A bit worried. We're a bit worried because Delphine hasn't got here yet. Right. So we'll be doing a show with no prep. So that'll be fun. Today's early bird special. Hey, look, look at this. You're saving two pounds. I think. Oh, sorry, you haven't put the graphics in yet. Graphics coming in. Um, I can hardly hear anything from the studio, by the way. I'll turn you up. I'll turn you up. I'll turn you up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ready? Graphics in? Oh, they're in. They're in. They're in. They're in. They're not. Oh, there they are. They weren't on my screen. That's right. Thirteen pounds and ninety bits. Now you're thinking, what is this five oh five spray? Well, it is temporary fabric adhesive spray. You get two of them, and you're saving two pounds. Two pounds off. Now what you do is you put them in your basket, and you check out because you only pay one pmp for the whole day. I've three pound 95 it's something you are going to want to stock up on having your stash i can't but now you've all gone echoey so i'm ever so sorry right okay we'll be all right or you can ring the call center 0800 001 4433 round the corner now what we say with you this is repositional spray so if you're putting applique pieces in if you're putting the back on your quilt if you're doing anything like that ready for stitching it and things give it a spray we say on a quilt spray it onto your wadding rather than your fabric that's what we do do say so uh, that's fantastic. You get two cans for thirteen pounds at ninety pence, and now, now you don't have to now now because I need to tell you right, you don't need to put two in your basket. You do, I mean, do if you're multiplying. But if you put one in your basket, you still get two cans. If you write two, you'll get four cans. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, look at it. It's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, you might want four cans because you're doing a big quilt. Uh, I know it works out. Well, how much is that then? Is that six ninety nine? Mm -hmm. Well, they're normally seven ninety nine. That's why, because you're saving a, a pound on each can. Uh, old Shelley's here for a little bit, but she'll be off. Oh, you having your nails done today, aren't you, Shelley? I remember. Morning, the team says Kirsty. Keep going through for that. I'm just chatting while you keep going through for that. Uh, you can buy two ways. You can buy on the web, or you can buy by ringing the call centre. Whichever way you do it, you only get charged PMP once for the whole day which is three pounds and 95 pence. I know, goes midnight to midnight. Oh, lovely, the desks, they're being done today then. I'm not in tomorrow. Oh, that's right then, if you can have them done by, uh, when am I in next, Cat? Saturday. Oh, Christmas on Saturday. Not, oh, no, no, Paul, the poor little Paul panicked a bit the other day because I said on air yesterday, it's Christmas on Saturday. And he went, I haven't bought a card or anything. It'll be a Christmas show on Saturday, a five-hour Christmas show with me, Janice, and the lovely living in loveliness, Kerry. All right, okay, so on another website, are you allowed to show that? £8.79, hang on, sorry, there you go, £8.79, that one. It's not a bottle, it's a can. Just so you know, it's a can. Uh, but you're getting, look, two for £13.98. Oh, no. Uh, Helen says, John, my granddaughter, hang on, John, my granddaughter, who is very fashion conscious, thinks your shirt is fabulous. Oh, thank you. Marcia's watching everybody. I've got uh, Marcia, Marcia, in a minute. Um, are you looking at my shirt? I wore this to, you know, my friend Cherry to Cherry's wedding. Cherry's having a baby now. Nothing to do with my shirt, obviously. Thank you. It's what? Brightens up the morning. Well, it's a miserable. Oh, it took me ever, forever to get to work this morning. Dark and raining and lorries and a little car going very slowly. I thought I was following Kat to work, but I'm not. because She's got a personalised number plate. Right, keep going. Joe. Oh, Joe in Swindon, this is very mysterious. We will pass on your question. No, I can tell you. No. No, we're not. No, we're not. Well, she, we're looking forward to seeing Delphine as well. She has arrived. She has arrived. I, I, I'm blaming Hayley myself. I'm going to blame Hayley. Okay, we'll move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. Shall we look at today's menu? In your own time. There we go. Oh, no, we're not ready yet. Menu. Yeah, go. <coughs> right, um, that's uh, eight o'clock. It's actually Sashko and a bit of embroidery at the end of the hour. 
Then we've got fabric. Oh, I've got some lovely fabric bundles in. Some gorgeous fabric bundles. In fact, we have got a fabric bundle that sold out the other day, and we've got a few more in. Got a few more in. Um, oh, look, Pauline says, morning, my ray of sunshine. Thank you. I wish everybody thought like that, uh, Pauline. Anyway, where are we? We're 10 o'clock. Bunny, oh, that's what Delphine's making. I didn't know because she hasn't been here. She wasn't in. I'll see her in a minute. Bunny softy with Delphine. She's just doing one hour. I told you yesterday she was staying on for two hours, but she's only doing one hour. All this way in the rain for one hour. And then 11 o'clock. Oh, we've got a picture of the softies, actually. I'll show you those now. And then at 12 o'clock, sewing machines and overlockers. Well, one sewing machine, one overlocker. And then at 12 o'clock, repeat fabric showcase. Right, have we got a picture of the rabbits, please? I'll show you the rabbits now, the bunnies. They're not called rabbits. All right, could Delphine bring one in, please, so we can show what we're doing? Right, uh, we want you to get in touch. This is the way that you get in touch. You can email us, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Oh, Lowe's in lip hook today. I wonder what she's doing there. And you can also, now, this is the way I can definitely see your messages. Well, no, I'll say that, but I'm, if I get way laid, I don't. You can also watch us on Facebook Live and you can write a question underneath on Facebook Live like Lynn just did. Good morning, John, from a very wet and dark Devon. Here we go. This is what Delphine is making. It's huge. Now, are you sure this is the same panel that we've got? Because the panel we've got didn't look this big, did it? Uh, it comes in three different colourways. It comes in pink. It comes in blue and it comes in, what is it? Because they've all got different names, haven't they? So we've got Bella, Betty and Bobby. So this is pink. <laughs> this is Bella. This is Bella. Betty is green and Bobby is blue. We're not that we're going for... Um, Stereotypical gender what's it? because we're gender fluid here at Sewing Street. This is the 10 o'clock hour, the only hour that Delphine is doing today at 10 o'clock. And it's what? Oh, is it? It's her first toy making show. There we go. Right, okay. Shall we start then with Sashko? So I've done, hang on, have I done everything? I've done all the news. Oh no, no, no. I've got a very, very, very important message. You know, Marcia, who's from Brazil, who now lives in the Northwest, right? She's married to Ewan, right? Now, Ewan is a very, very handsome young man. Um, I don't know where he's from. He must be, I think he must be from the Northwest, right? And I met him at, Fest was it Festival of Quilts? And he went, oh, you. You're the bane of my life, you are. And I was like, oh, thanks, love you too. Anyway, it's his birthday today. It's his, it's his 50th birthday. He doesn't look 50. I tell you now, he doesn't look 50 at all. Like I don't look 40, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, we hope you have a lovely, lovely birthday. In fact, that's how I first started chatting to Marcia when we used to work at Sewing Quarter because she was hand quilting a navy blue quilt for his birthday. So that, was that three years ago? Four years ago now? Anyway, happy birthday, you, and hope you have a lovely day and save some cake for me. Right, okay, should we get going? Should we get going? Uh, Forest of Dean, trophies in the Forest of Dean. Jan, is this our Delphine? Oh, I don't, Je Jenny, I don't know if I can say that. Jenny, that's casting aspersions. I can't read that out. Little Paul's not in today. He doesn't work every day, even though he likes you to think he does. He's at home now with his feet up. He won't even have got up yet, I don't think. Oh, message from Kim. Oh, no, she's staying in bed with a rotten head cold, uh, but I've cheered her up. Oh, I hope it's just a cold, Kim. I don't want to wish anything on anybody, me. Uh, and very quickly, Fiona says, morning, John. Having a lie-in. Oh, everyone's having a lie-in today. Having a lie-in with a cup of tea on my day off and watching Sewing Street. Bliss. Ah, oh, thank you. Now, you could just tell the manager in that. Do you think they read this? I'll save all this and I'll send it to them later. Oh, we'll take screenshots of it later. Right, everything for this hour. Oh, now, that's the other thing I was going to tell you. Before, 
the whole day would go on pre-order. Now, it's just the hour coming up is on pre-order. So if you look on pre-order now, which is just under the screen on the website, you will see everything that I've got for this hour. Delphine's panels won't go up until the break about five to 10. Five to 10, they'll go up. All right, are we ready? <gasps> Stuart's watching. Now, you know Stuart from the wool patch. He's watching now, what's he saying? Uh, Stuart from the wool patch, yeah, I've just said that. Uh, wet, rainy Suffolk morning and they're having breakfast. Oh, look at your shirt. Oh, he's just burnt his toast. Oop, his bleep is going off. Right, come on, let's get on, otherwise I'll be told off for not focusing again, and we don't want that. I put the books there this morning. Right, you know about this. You know Susan Briscoe with the blue hair. Ultimate Sashko. Oh, hang on, I'll put it in the wrong place again. No, I got told off yesterday for it in the wrong place. There you go. And I like it on the esconce like that. If Paul is directing, we have to do the book like that. But I like it like that. There you go. So, 11 pounds and, no. Uh, sorry, now if you're watching on your big telly, you'll all be feeling sick now, won't you? Anyway, it's at 11, 11 pounds and nine time pence. Susan Briscoe's Sashko sauce book. Oh, look, oh, oh, oh. Some, some messages will come some messages will come up at the bottom of the page like that. Yeah, and if I try and read them, if you could read that, you're much better than me. Are you going to put it up or not? I've got what? Who was that from? Christina says she's had sciatica for 14 months. Oh, that's here, isn't it, sciatica? That's when you, oh. Here you go, have a look at it. Morning, gorgeous John, cheer me up every morning. I have sciatica, now 14 months ongoing. Ah, oh, hugs, thank you. Christina in Wiltshire, thank you. Right, should we look at this book, Christina? The, I'll straighten up. The Ultimate Sashko Source Book, right, by Susan Briscoe of The Blue Hair. She and I go back years, me and Susan, without knowing it, but uh, we've, we've kind of worked in all the same places. I mean, this is a beautiful, the only trouble with doing it this way around, you will start at the back of the book, don't you, rather than the front. Oh, Marcia, 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 what have you bought him for his birthday? What have you got him for his birthday? Is there, any, is there any cake? Is there any cake? I need some, I need, I need cake today because I've got to drive to, oh, do you know what we could send? Because Delphine was late, we could send her out to, we could make her buy donuts. We could send her out to buy donuts from Greg's. I'll give her some money, don't worry. I won't make her pay for them. Right, have a look at this book, don't look at me. Now, um, oh, now, how many coffees have you had, Kat? Oh, she only had one. The other day, she must have had about eight cup coffees. I couldn't get a word in edgeways the other day. Anyway, she, this is like, well, it's not quite having Susan Briscoe in your front room when you're reading this, but it's just, it, you know about Sasha Coates, all those gorgeous, uh, started off as a uh, repair, you know, repair stitching and things like that. And because, you know, kind of, we didn't have the throwaway uh, disposable fashion that we have these days but look now it's become the most gorgeous decorative it's very very easy very easy to do and yet it's very very um what's the word i'm looking for um striking <coughs> very very striking to look at. i'm just going to move it oh sorry I, 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 no no my belly was coming into shot that was all. I'll, I'll move back i'll move back Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll often think of, of Sashko as being how you fix clothes. And then you think it was a wall hanging. But in here you've got coasters, you've got tote bags, you've got greetings cards, you've got long samplers. Well, that's it. And then basic techniques. It's, I'm going the wrong way through the book, you see. Anyway, it is the ultimate Sashko source book. And it's, I thought it was more expensive than 11 99 I have to say. I'm just going to do a quick check. Fifteen ninety nine. It's meant to be fifteen ninety nine. Oh, Cheryl's going for a weigh in this morning. Thank goodness for John Scott, says Tim. A ray of sunshine on this dull morning. A golden arches treat this morning for you. Oh, we've got one. We've got to drive in one of those across the road here. And lo, oh, they op they open at six. They, they open at six today. I was late today. I didn't get it till six fifteen today. Uh, Lowe's not, not in her moho, she's just having air suspension done, watching on the phone. Anyway, oh, I'll move that on, I'm moving on, right, moving on. Oh, the bundle, here. So we've, this, is, this is a little bundle that we've put together for you. 
Uh, that, that's not white. It'll be an ecru, I imagine. I'm just putting my head in shot, sorry. Oh, it doesn't say. I think it's like a, a slightly soft ecru, that one. It's not bright white. That's, I bet they've called that navy, haven't they? It's a lovely, rich, rich blue. You can hardly see it, same colour as the packet. And three needles. Oh, it's royal blue, is it? No, navy, navy. Oh, that's that size. Oh, and you've got two pounds off. Two pounds off, look. 11.47 is a strange price. But then Elliot's a strange boy. We don't complain, though, do we? No. There must be, there must be something good about him, though, because he goes out with lovely Amy. And she's been there. She's been with him for years now. It wasn't meant as a compliment. It was a compliment for Amy. It's what you're not with you all this time. Anyway, look. Focus. Focus. We're getting so many what? So much what? Oh, you're getting so much thread in it. Sorry, I'm, I'm having issues this morning with the sound. I haven't had a coffee, no. 40 metres? There's 40 metres on there. I'm not sure that that's right. 40 metres, that's like a running track, isn't it? Oh, no, they also... Yeah, and two pans off as well. No, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just having a look how much is on these. That's twenty meters. Oh, it is right. Look, because that's twenty meters. That's twenty meters. That will be forty meters. Right. I'm going to. Shall I open it and we'll measure it? We could be here. All, we could be here for a while, and then I'd have to try and get it back in the packet. I don't think so. Eleven pounds and forty-seven pence. Yeah, look at Jenny. You brighten my day, John. Oh, you are very kind to me. Thank you. Because I went home yesterday a bit miserable yesterday because I got told off yesterday and I don't like being told off. When you get to 40, you don't want to be told off by some whippersnapper, do you really? Well, I say whippersnapper, it was Hayley, but she's not a whippersnapper, is she? She's in her 40s now, isn't she? Anyway, shall we move on? Well, shall we do some panels next then? Panels in packets, because I've not seen them in packets before. These, these big ones here. Right, I'm going to, I'll open the first one and then I won't open all the others because all the others are the same because it'll just take us forever to pack them all back in. So I've got EO 9956 here. This is from the new collection, designed by Susan Briscoe, 100% cotton, made in Japan. Now, can I just tell you about these? You know, sometimes when a, a person goes to a country and says, oh, I've brought this back from Japan and... Uh, Right, these are massive in Japan because normally they, they, they do them as, um, you know, kind of, if you think about it, they'll do it as a, uh, not a gimmick, what's the word I'm looking for, but they don't sell in the country they come from. These are huge, oh, these are beautifully wrapped. They were normally just loose, weren't they, when we used to do them at sewing quarter, right? This is a new design, though. Now, the thing that's fantastic about this, I'm sure it'll say on the fabric itself, look, Oh, yes, here you go. I'll let Elliot see this. So it's designed by Susan Briscoe for Olympus Threads. Then it's a bit of Japanese writing. Then it says made in Japan. This is the bit that's important. Marks disappear when washed. So once you've done your stitching, right, wash it and the marks will disappear. You might not even see the marks anymore. I love the way they're packaged because you also get an instructions on how to stitch it and everything. Let me just see, make sure it's in English as well as Japanese. Uh, no, it's all in Japanese. It is all in Japanese. Anyway, look. So what we got here, let me just do this. So they're motifs. Now, normally they're from um, family crests, but these are florals, aren't they? I'm not quite sure what that one is. Is it a bat? Is it a bat? Because that's floral, that's floral, that's floral, that's floral. Oh, I love that one. Love, oh, so you can't see that one yet. Look, look, love that one. That's like your traditional Japanese blossom, isn't it? It's a what blossom? Oh, it's called a sakura blossom. How does, how does Elliot, how do you know that, Elliot? Oh, he's into Japanese um, art and things. Anyway, these are like little coasters. Now, now, what you can do, first of all, is let me get my tape. Oh, you keep looking at that. Someone's moved my tape measure, Elliot.
These are the four seasons, are they? Right, now what I was going to say is, right, so these are nine and a half inches. So they'd be a nine inch finished block if you were to put them in a quilt. But these, you see, are four and a half inches. So it's nice for a coaster, but you could mix and match them within a, if Susan was here, she'd show, oh, actually, is the picture in there? She's got the most incredible, in one of her other books, oh, and it's noisy upstairs today. In one of her other books, it's actually got a quilt. I don't think it's in this one. No, it's not in this one. Um, she makes quilts, right, using Japanese fabric, but also these are stitched within the quilt as well. These stitch. Oh, I love this. So what colour are we calling this one? Deep red. Deep red. It's not, how much is it? 19 99 See, they've not gone up in price. Same price they always were. Aren't they? Oh, now, you know I said I was only going to open one. Have they all got different patterns on them? Right, hang on a sec. So that's, okay, so that's your deep red. That's your deep red in your camon. Where does it say that? I can't see that. Oh, yeah, camon, right? Now, this is samugi, which means woven fabric. This is cotton samugi. You can get silk samugi, wool samugi. It means woven in Japanese. See, I, have to, I do listen sometimes. Right, so that's gorgeous. Right, let me get the other camon out as well then. Does it say camon on the, on the packet? Let me have a check. Where will it say it? Yeah, but I don't, what I don't want to do is that's geometric. Oh, no, that's ge they're geometrics and these are camons. Right, okay, so now I've got camon. This is 9909, EN9909. Yeah, these have got the same print, so I don't have to open them. And this is this one black. This is in black. So I'm not going to open the whole of this one because you've seen the patterns on the red one. If you want to see the red one again, let me know and I'll show you the patterns again. But this is exactly the same as the patterns, look, as the red one that I just showed you. And this one is in black. Okay, 28th September was when Susan was on last. So if you want to go and look on YouTube, not now. Wait till 11, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Yeah, there it is, there you see. Oh, the white picture. No, and the black picture, they're both the same. Yeah. All right, that's, well, no, no, the one on the wall there is done, and this is the one of the actual panel there. I'll put it on the floor like that. Stand back. Who is? Oh, camera's on his way. Camera's on his way. Thank you. Who's that from? Beverly. Beverly, I'll forward that on to the management. Um, right, Stuart's saying, that thread is fabulous. Used it myself. Oh, it, what, for, for, what did you use it for? Did you use Sashko? I used it for his jeans. That's unusual. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yes, because you get those really expensive jeans, don't you, with the stitching on? Janice, right? No, because you put several. Oh, hang on. Do I need to use a hoop? Oh, oh, you're answering each other. I don't need to worry there, so I'll ignore that one. I'll ignore that one. So now, remember, we had those special needles, didn't we, in the, in the first pack? Because this hasn't got any needles or thread in it. This has just got... Oh, I tell you what, though, I've got some variegated threads coming up in a minute. You're going to want those. Now, now don't panic. If you've, all, if you've already checked out, you're thinking, oh, you didn't tell me there were threads coming, John Scott. It doesn't matter. Because once you've checked out once, you don't need to worry about checking. You have to keep checking out. You don't get charged again. So at midnight tonight, the computer adds everything together and goes, oh, yes, she's bought that, 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 and that. She only pays three nine, Or he. Only pays three ninety five post and packaging. Is that thirty seven? Yeah, thirty seven. That's the navy one next. Same prints again. Same prints. Oh, oh, hang on. Let me move it across because it's what the navy is a very a very classic color. They're all they're all classic colors, but you all know the navy because it's navy and white in the navy. Oh, now it's not in the right place anymore. Isn't it? I need to write a mark on the table where it's got to go. There's a little red squat. No, it's no. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it doesn't look right there, then. It's not. Have you? No, I've got two more. 
Oh, no, I haven't. That's a geometric. Then I've got this one. Now, they call this one khaki. I don't... Oh, hang on. They've called it dark green. They've called it dark green. There we go. I'd say it was a, dark, a really lovely, rich green, that one. Can you see that? Olive? Oh, yeah, like Nocicelli olives. Yeah, like Nocicelli olives. Oh, everyone's chatting to each other now. I won't, I won't read out all the messages where you're just chatting to each other. I think it's nice when you all... I think this is lovely that you can all chat together. Part of being in the sewing street community. Nearly said the wrong word then. Oh, Stuart's learning to do sashiko at the moment. Uh, can I tell you very quickly, right? Stuart used to be a headmaster, right? And he worked with my friend Lynn, who I trained with at Bretton Hall <coughs> many, many years ago. And then one day, he was, at, he was getting, a, not bored of teaching, but kind of thinking, oh, I'm of an age, I kind of want to change. And he was out with a friend of his, having, and they're in this tea shop in Long Melford. And the, next to the tea shop was a wool shop and a sewing shop up for sale, and he bought it. So he didn't know how to sew, didn't know how to do anything. So he bought the shop. Now he's teaching, and now he's done a Harry Styles cardigan. He's done toys. He's done sewing. He does, and he loves the Great British Sewing Bee. What an inspiration. And one day you'll meet him, whether it's here or on my show, you'll meet him soon. He, no, he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. Right, okay, let me just recap. So the four I've just shown you, so red, green, blue, and black, they have all got... This is called Come On 20. Come on, come on. 20. And it's at £19.99. £19. Oh, is that? So where's that then? On today's show deals, you'll see all four of those for sale and you'll see a picture of the panel as well. Okay, moving on. So you've got, the, you want to see the, oh, there you go, there you go. There they all are. There they all are on the website. Right, let me fold that nicely because I can't stay and help pack away today, you see. No, Wednesdays I have to leave immediately, you see. So, so I, I'm going to try and stay as nice and tidy as I possibly can for the team today. Right, now I've got geos. The, now I'll have to open one of these to show you the patterns on these. 19, I haven't got a 19. I've got a 48, an 08, and a 40. Oh, wait. A red one. Yeah. Now, I'm only going to open one of these again so you can see the different patterns on these. They're beautifully packaged. You know what she'll have made? She'll have made Glyn, her husband. Well, I don't know if he's a husband. Her life partner. I bet she makes him sit at home folding these and puts them in the packet. He loves it, though. He loves it. Right, here we go. I'll open it now, hang on. Oh, I've seen this one. I've seen this one before. This is a traditional. No, they're not last year's designs, Kat, because they've been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. This is, you've seen these because you've got your, um, they don't call them clamshells, do they? But you've got your clamshells, you've got your flowers, you've got your ogies, you've got your wiggly. That one's called weights, isn't it? I like, oh, oh. Oh, Kat. Cat, Cat asked me a question, right? So Cat's, so this is what this is what I have going on in my ear, right? Cat said, so John, which one do you like best? Well, I like the one that does this because if this, 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 and that doesn't give me a chance to answer the first question. Anyway, I like them both. And I think I'd have to buy one of each and then mix and match the geometric with the camel. I have to, I actually say I like the coasters on this one better than the coasters on the camel. I wouldn't mix and match the colours, personally. You could. You could. What I would do, though, so I'd buy the two red ones. I'd buy this one and I'd buy the Camon red one, but then I'd buy different threads. And I'd either do cream threads or I'd do ombre threads. No, they don't call it variegated threads. You know what I mean? I'm sure we've got other threads on the website as well. Oh, are we? Kat's going to come in and do a demonstration in a second. Of, of stitching in all different colours. Lovely. Right, so that's the red one. So remember, oh, I see what she's saying now. Remember the patterns on there, because you're about to see the same patterns with a different coloured black background. But there's only three of these. There's no black and, oh, that looks like navy to me. D black and dark green, that's all I've got in this one. So I'll do the 
black one next, which is 40. Red mark. There. Is it in the right place, Elliot? No. Well, no, it's on the red line. The red line's not right, I don't think. That's, I tell you what. When they raise the desk next week, it'll be easier. Right, is that in the right place? To my right? Right, okay. Right, there we go. 1999. What's the matter? Right, so uh, variegated threads would look lovely on the black. I think, have we not got, um, I think there must be other colours on the website, are there, Kat? We'll have a look, we'll have a look for you. And then the dark green one. Same pattern that you just saw. Don't look at me, look at that, that's it. Good morning, John Scott, says Bernie and all. Lorraine says good morning. And Christine says, morning, just getting a quick fix before I leave for work. Lovely to see John and his antics. Christine, Christine, antics? This is work. It's not an antic. I'm working hard here. Concentrating. Well, they won't be up yet. Well, their management won't be up yet. Don't know why I'm concentrating yet. Anyway, here we go. Sashko, sumugi, which means woven. Well, I was just say, um, you, Kat's just said, if you've done it before, let us know, right? Bernie says, it's a wonderful, mindful bit of sewing. It's very good because you, you don't have to concentrate too hard, but you might, this is what's fantastic about sewing, isn't it? Because we're all going through tough times at the moment, aren't we? Like majorly tough times. Bit of sewing takes your mind off it, doesn't it? Better than sitting eating cake and watching um, rubbish telly. Well, it's not rubbish telly, but you know. Stop binging like me. I nearly said the name of the show I'm watching, but it might be a bit rude for this time in the morning. But it, it's not a rude show, but the title sounds a bit rude on Netflix. Right, I've got two white ones. Righty-ho. A Lessien. Oh, I haven't got a 26. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, it's not white, it's ecru. Right, I can't, we'll open this one out for you. I've just got to leave it there for, so Elliot can have a quick look at it so it's at the right place on the table. This has never been on air before. Now, is it smaller? Yeah, it's a 12 by 12, this one. Now, that shows you, now I don't mean to be rude, but that shows you these were 1999, these great big ones, weren't they? Now, this is a different, but it's 1999, still worth the money, but I'm just saying how much that makes that value for money, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to open this one out then. I don't know where that, I don't know where I had it now. Oh, now this fabric feels different. Oh, this feels, you know, like a soft hanky. This feels like a soft hanky, this one. Oh, 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 I see now. So there's your 12 by 12. <laughs> but you'll also get that fabric there for a backing. Now, let me just see what it says on the, What a be that looks like a, isn't that a lotus flower? Was it a lily? Oh, hang on, hang on. Expert, Japanese expert in the gallery says it's a Japanese lily. It was designed by somebody called Kai. Oh, now this one has got all the stitching detail with it, look. Attention! The ink on this print is water soluble. Do not use your steam iron or water spray. But I'm just wondering, what is it? Oh, that's why it feels different. It's 85% cotton, 15% linen, and it's hand printed by Kai. No, linen's not cotton. No, linen's not cotton. Um, the finish size is 12 by 12. Oh, this colour, greyish. I like that word, greyish. Um, I don't understand there. I think the design's gorgeous, but what's that bit for there then, if I open it out? 
So you could do a backing, couldn't you, and bag it out to make a lovely little cushion. Now, I wouldn't use it as a tote bag, Kat, if you've not felt this. Very, very fine. You wouldn't want to put potatoes in there. Oh, no. Princess says, the show you're watching, John. I tried it. Couldn't even finish one episode. It's rubbish. Oh, are you sure? Are you sure, Princess? I think it's one of the best things I've ever seen in my whole life. Yes. I. Little Paul. Oh. Oh, I think it's brilliant. I couldn't get on with Emily in Paris. Now, that one, I, could own, I couldn't even get through the first episode of Emily in Paris. Do what, what? Well, I'll fold it up and put it back in the middle like that now. You see, your centre changes, Elliot. There you go, it's beautiful, that, isn't it? I could, you see, this one, I'd use different colours on it. Oh, right, these are coming up in a minute, right? But look, imagine if you did the leafy bits in the green variegated, and then look, you did that, oh, no, I'll do that flower in that one there. And then I do the stamens in the blue. And then I do that flower in that one with the stamens in the pink. Can you see any of this? No. You didn't, you saw it. People at home didn't see any of it. There you go. See if Paul was here now. We'd still be on the first panel. Anyway. I just think it's lovely, the template on there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh no, Wendy said, I bought, I bought it and steam ironed it the minute I got it. Oh, Wendy. Oh, now everyone's disagreeing with me. I agree with Princess, your favourite programme is not very good, John Scott. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. L I was watching one last night before I went to bed and I was literally, and this doesn't happen very often, laughing out loud at the telly. No, I never do that normally. Never do that normally. But last night, the epi I mean, I'm on series three, episode two now, and I laughed out loud. Oh, we jump into threads now then. Right, okay. Okay, threads, variegated green. Oh, cracky, I'm not very good at this, am I? 20 metres on there, variegated in the... Uh, Variegated green. I thought it would have some romantic name, but. Is that actual variegated Sashko thread? I've never seen that before. Only plain, says Christine. Yes, yes, it's a Sashko thread. Now, I'll open one. What did you say? Oh, don't open it, did you say? No, no, no. If, no, she doesn't want me to open it. I won't open it. Okay. I wish I was to open a different one. Right, so that's the green one. So I'm going to do the light pink next. Okay. As the graphics gone for that one, so let me put the, the pale green, the pale pink one in now. Jackie, thank you. She thinks the program is hilarious. Uh, Ash said, I started watching yesterday and I'm a fan already. But not of this, of this. She's, of Ash is talking about the program I was mentioning. Oh, it's so good to see John on TV again. Ah, oh, thank you. She said, I haven't put back. No, I haven't come back. It's a new job. Keep laughing and don't want to go into my sewing room. Oh, no, you need to go into your sewing room. I love embroidery. One of the first skills I learnt when I was a child says Lulu. Lulu. Right, I'm going to open this one, Lulu. What are you talking about? One pound seventy nine. Right, look, look, it is variegated. All the pinks. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? Can you imagine when that's stitched up? How beautiful that's going to be. Greyish background, but then that would also look beautiful on the black, wouldn't it? As well, you see, or the navy. Right. Okay. So I'll put that there. Next is the. Darker red one. It's not red. It's mainly blue, I think, isn't it? What, what do they call it? Blue red. We were both right. Blue red. 
179, I would definitely get one of each of these. There's 20 meters on there. Do you know what I'd be tempted to do as well is double stitch. So stitch through and then stitch through again so that the, the, the uh, variegated swaps and changes. Hillary, you'll need, I'm not gonna say it out loud. You'll need to just read the, the messages before yours. I just think it's a bit rude, to, it sounds rude. No, you don't split the thread. Who, who said that, who said that? Lulu, Lulu, Lulu. You don't split the thread, you use it as is. Do not split the thread, right? And then last variegated is like bluey turquoise. There you go, I'm getting there. Oh, Stuart's just put, there you go, Stuart's just written on the, on the chat what it's called. And oh, now the picture on the website makes it look much darker than it is and not as vibrant as that. So there's aqua, turquoise, kingfisher. Lovely. That's a cause it's a colour, kingfisher blue. Okay, moving on. What do you want to do next, Kat? Oh, you want to do those as well? Okay, at crew thread. I've done it now. It's quicker. It's quicker if I do. Four ninety nine. These are, but you get twice as much on these, don't you? Forty meters. I can't believe you've crammed forty meters into that tiny little packet. Everything's available under web because I'm going quite quickly because the hour's nearly up, isn't it? Navy. Now, it's a very rich navy, this. <laughs> there you go. You can hardly see it, can you, really? It's a dark navy. Okay, right, and then... Got panels to run through very quickly now. It's all right, we don't need to get to the, we could just carry with Sashka. Oh, no, I've got a lamp to do as well. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Well, I'll go to these white ones because I've not seen white ones before. These are called Lessien and they're Cosmo. And I'll do a 57 first, if that's all right. Now, these are different. Oh, no, I can show you the patterns on the front. I don't need to open them because I don't get them dirty. Look at the patterns on this one. You've got that, Ed, Elliot. Oh. You've got four different coasters there, each 10 centimetre square. Nice. I, I do navy blue on that, like that. You wouldn't do what, Catch say? Oh, sorry, push my shirt. You could put them as cornerstones in a quilt, as long as they're 10 centimetres in size. Beautiful. Uh, so I'm presuming, oh no, this one's different. Right, okay, so that one is called, oh, it doesn't matter because they're both called Cosmo on mine, but this is a different print on this one. I'll put it in shot, you can see the different. These are a bigger print on these. This is the other one. Oh, hang on, is it 92? Hang on, let me just turn it over. 92, yeah. Have a look at these. So you've got circles, crosses, bricks and lines. Pre-printed white sash. Now, if, yeah, because 14 99 you could do little projects, couldn't you, with this one, if you don't want to start with a great big panel. Oh, in Elliot's house, he wouldn't have white coasters. But some people have a whole lounge that's white, Elliot. Well, Elliot dribbles his dinner, he says, so it'll get everywhere. Oh, look, Bernie says, I love it when you open things. I can only open certain things, Bernie. Right, okay, so I've got two more panels here, also in the Cosmo range, more coasters. I've got Navy, sorry. Um, 17. To the right, to the right. That's a song, isn't it? To, oh, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Right, there you go, pre-printed. Navy Sashko Koskas by Lysian. But look at the look at this bit here. Variegated thread would be nice on this one, wouldn't it? Now there you've got your flowers 
Oh, I can't see that one. Is that that one? Oh, yeah, there it is. I like that one. Oh, it does look like tumbling blocks, doesn't it? But they're not. They're flowers. I like that one there. Modern, that one. Anyway, moving on. Now, you can't say that's in the wrong place. Oh, different patterns again. Look. Now, this is on a very soft grey. We'll need to pull out in a second. Look. Soft, very, very soft dove grey, that one, isn't it? Who's that? Somebody just said to me, hi, John, what are you doing today? Um, Alan. Alan, working. This is me at work. Right, I've got more panels, got more panels to show you. And I've got fabrics. Well, flipping heck, I'm going to run out of time at this rate. Right, so this is going to cause confusion now. I'll just shout out the number and I'll tell you what they are. So this one is uh, M-E-Y-H-98, mixed pattern. Look, they're tamari balls, they are. Look, they're tamari ball pattern. Now, how big is this one then? Oh, this is a 12 by 12 as well. Oh, it look bigger than that. 12 by 12, that one. Right, okay. So the next one is ending 83, cumulus clad. It's in exactly the same place. How can it be wrong? I've put it exactly on. They're getting so, they're playing with me now. This is cumulus cloud. They're clouds, they are, look. I'd say they were clamshells myself. Anyway, moving on. This next one is called Dragonfly. I did not move it. That's, it's still there, look. It's still there. Honestly, the days of just being a television presenter are well and truly gone, aren't they? <laughs> Christine, you're showing your age now. She said it's like what, watching the golden shot. Left a bit, right a bit, left a bit. That was Sunday tea time showing that one, wasn't it? Right, okay, so the next one is called Two Cranes 86. That's a gorgeous one, that one, isn't it? Look. Okay, uh, Jat, Jat? Who's Jat? Cat would put this on the back of her denim jacket. But then that's the kind of girl she is. The next one is called Seasons, finishing 92. I know we're going through these quickly, but they are all listed and pictured on the website. You have a look at that. So the blossom would be spring, wouldn't it? Are there four? Se There's only three seasons on there, though. Where's the fourth one? One, two, three, and then falling leaves. What? Yeah, autumn's loose leaves. No, no, next one's autumn. This one's autumn. No, yes, Beverly, these are the ones that get, if you get them wet, it'll disappear. So do not steam iron them, do not wash them until you've finished sewing them. You can dry iron them, it's not a problem. Dry iron them, no problem, but just don't have steam on your iron. Oh, you, yeah, you might, because when you get them, right, you can have creases, like this, you see, you can have creases in them. I'll show you that later, because I'm doing fabrics next. I'll do fabrics next. Right? Twelve ninety nine. That's a lovely one, isn't it? Oh, Elliot's getting all poetic now, saying it's like reflection in the water. Right, right. These are not Sashko panels. These are fabric with a Sashko design on them. Starting with fifty two. So now this is sold by the half meter. 
If you're doing a quilt or something, you could use these to, to do piecing and things, couldn't you? Upside down. There you go. Blue rainbow, they've called this. And stroby, stroby blue rainbow. Linda's loving the Sashko patterns. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, now I've got rainbows in red. This isn't right. This hour is beautifully packed away, look. You could, yeah. Okay, we could get um, Delphine to it because she was late. Punishment, she could do all the pack. Oh, I actually have to say, Delphine always helps pack away. Well, she might not do so because she's not in the last hour. Oh, while we're doing sewing machines, she could pack the rest away while we're doing sewing machines. That's all right then. Oh, this is called Yarno, this one. Oh, they're all called Yarno. Yarno, that. Good morning, everyone, says Margaret. Darling, grey and drizzling here. Sunshine in the corner of my room. Oh, you're too kind. Am I in the corner of your room? Nobody puts baby in the corner, Margaret. Brightening our, thank you for brightening our days. Tell the management that, would you? Thank you. Okay, now the next one isn't rainbows. The next one, and now I think they call it, it's not swirls, pixelation, that's the one. I thought that's what they've called it. It's not called pixelation in Japanese. Oh, 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 it's still there. This one's pixelation, like pixie lot. It's strobing a bit, isn't it? Exactly the same. Oh, hang on, let's just check which is meant to be the right side. Because I prefer this side, personally. No, I think that is the right side. They're just, oh, wow. I don't know, you see, look, can you see a difference at home? This is, this is, this one's like an ecru colour, and that one's like a white colour. It's what? You decide. You can decide. <coughs> mm? You're buying it by the half metre, don't forget this, so that's fine. Oh, fold, fold. Right, now I've got swirl, which I have to say doesn't look Japanese to me. But my personal opinion. Oh, hang on. Whirlpool is a make of washing machine. It's what? But this isn't Whirlpool. What's it called? Navy blue swirl. Okay, so the, the boy that takes the picture of the website is on holiday at the moment. He's due back, but there's the wrong picture on the website. What picture is it on the website then? Oh, they put the blue rainbow. This is definitely the swirl. This is definitely the swirl. So if you're looking on the web, the picture is wrong. Oh, Stuart's off to open his shop now. Everyone saying have a good day at your shop. He, um, he just puts it on in the corner. He does this on. But you can't have us on when there are customers in because it's like in the pop-in shop, you're not allowed the radio on because we haven't got a licence to play live music and things. Now, oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look. Yeah, I think that's meant to be the right side. I think white is meant to be the right side, but the ecru-y colour's quite nice, isn't it? Funny that actually... I don't know, really. It'll be something to do with the thread, I think, but I'm not quite sure. Not being an expert on swirls. It can't be printed because it's gone through to the other side, so it's woven. And also, isn't it a, isn't it a smoogie? Oh, it's a yarnu. There you go. I'm giving you the choice. White side, swirly side. Oh, Elliot. I don't think Elliot slept last night. What does Hayley look like? I've got the impression that she looks like... Ah! <laughs> Somebody thinks she looks like Meryl Streep in Devil Wears Prada. Nothing. Nothing like... Doesn't say, definitely doesn't say, She's got a very strong Dudley accent. And let me think. She looks more like somebody out of a carry-on film than she does. It could be in a carry-on film and be gorgeous. Cat's creeping. Cat saying Haley's gorgeous. Anyway, she and little Paul have a, a relationship. Right. 
Oh, she's got, like Lorraine said, she's got lovely dark hair. Yeah, it's dyed, Lorraine. She's going grey now. I've got a boot. And I've got this. Oh, she'll do this later. I'll do this later in the sewing machine hour. Yeah. There we go. This, uh, now, I've not seen this, right? Well, you see, that's way off the middle now, because the middle's here. They just, they're just teasing me. Simple Sashko book. This has got eight Sashko sewing projects for the modern home. For six, that's not even a pound a pattern, is it, that? Crazy price. Yeah, because the panels are 1999. Ranru wall hanging. You see, the, you don't even have to buy the panels for these. You can just do your own. Because I'm sure, look, the patterns are in there. Well, and you know, um, Jennifer Taylor, she does Sashko all over. All her clothes have got Sashko all over them. Because originally it started off as a mix and, not mix and mend, fix and mend in the olden days, right? And now it's a decorative thing. It shows you how, exactly how to do it, look. Nice, that's gorgeous if it was in the centre of the screen. No, I'm, it's my bad, there you go. Six night nine, I've got to go. What's next? It's not Delphine. It's not Delphine. No, it's not Delphine. It's not Delphine next. If you say cut to you, be ready to cut to me, right? Just telling Elliot how to do his job. It, he's new to this. Uh, we've got fabric buttons coming next. Do you know what? They're gorgeous. They are completely gorgeous. And the rainbow one, which sold out the other day, the big one. Now, I think we've only got a few. We've only got a handful, but they're available on split pay. It'll be the first split pay I've done today. I know. Anyway, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to see Delphine, see what treat she's brought us for being late. And um, I'll see you in four minutes with fabric bundles from now. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down?
I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Becky alexander Frost. And Sewing Street have asked me to join their team as one of our guest designers. I own a sewing pattern design company. My pattern design company is RJAF Makes. RJAF Makes is my initials. Um, even though it's Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost, um, I prefer being known as Becky and you guys get to call me Becky. I've been sewing just over 28 years thanks to my mother who taught me and I'm now bringing patterns to Sewing Street. So I look forward to seeing you guys. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. And anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Yeah, we're right. That was Becky Alexander Frost, Frost Alexander in the advert. Now, she's not coming back because it's a new... No, 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 no. As in, she hasn't been working here before. Like, I wasn't working here before. So I didn't come back. She's not coming back. She's our new guest at Sewing Street. Um, no, but she's not coming to the studio. Not so, because she's got 
Um, not that she's got, but she's looking after her mum and everything like that. And in these times, she, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. But she will be coming into the studio eventually. But her first ones uh, will be um, video. Oh, Sean on Sunday. Oh, Sean on Sunday. And when they're making the videos as they speak. Now, my competition is, there's no prize. See if you can spot her fridge. Because you kind of look at it and you think, oh, she's in some lovely studio somewhere. She's actually in the bit. She's all open plan in her flat. She's in the bit between the dining room and the kitchen. And her, the fridge is on. She's like this. The fridge is there. Have a look for it. See if you can find it. She normally hangs, hangs a handbag from it or something like that. Um, anyway, 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 anyway. Right. Gerardine, how are you, my love? No, no, stop, 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 stop. That's not Hayley, Gerardine, that's Hannah. That's producer Hannah with the big curly hair. And, and she, at the moment, I, she won't mind me saying, right? She won't mind me saying, she had a spot in her forehead and she picked it and now she's got a scab this big on her forehead. And yesterday, for some reason, she was like wearing white kinky boots to work. You know, kinky boots, kinky boots on a Blackman song, right? White! Pure white plastic boots she was wearing yesterday. Anyway, 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 anyway um, she'll be watching. And Little Paul's watching. Can you believe Little Paul's at home watching? I know. I bet he's at his mum's, actually. I bet he's watching with his mum. Um, Hayley is about that tall, would you say? A bit shorter. Oh, about that tall. She's got um, very straight, dark hair. She wears glasses. Doesn't she? She's had a nose job. And I mean, it's lovely, lovely. She had it done years ago. And then when she went, she had Joseph, her little boy, right? She was like, he won't get my old nose, will he? He'll get my new nose if he gets my nose. You're like, no, he'll get, anyway, he didn't. He got his dad's nose. Um, and um, she is lovely most of the time. Apart from when she shouts at me. When she shouts at me, tells me off. Right, right. This, this, this bundle, right? We had this the other day and it sold out. So I need to explain. Let's put the graphics in because I need to explain something straight away, right? Right, graphics are in. £149, which means... Oh! Where is it? Split pay! Split pay. You can pay for this in three monthly instalments, right? So it's 49 66 No interest. You don't get charged any interest. The only thing is, is... Not the only thing, but on the first one, you pay 49 66 plus your P&P. But if you've already bought something... That doesn't matter because that'll all be taken into account. But you can buy this bundle for 49 66 three monthly payments. Fantastic, isn't it? Right. Look what you get. Let's do this side of the table first, right? So you get a metre of each of these, right? You get a metre of... Oh, is it in the right place? Oh, is it perfect, right? A metre of the Kingfisher. Uh, these might not be their real colours, but you get all of these anyway. Metre of the navy, metre of the dark grey, metre of the soft silver grey, metre of the cream, metre of the ivory, or is that vanilla, and a metre of the white. Have you got a breakdown there, Kat? Doesn't matter if you haven't. Is that vanilla or is that cream and, and ivory? Oh, no, so it's ivory and cream. That's fine, and white. I, so it's white, ivory, cream, silver grey, dark grey, navy blue and a beautiful kingfisher blue you get a meter of each of those right don't be thinking blimey 149 pounds for that no look at this these are all rose and hubble fabrics right you get half a meter of every single one of these oh i love them sorry heads in shot aren't they just gorgeous so you've got black You've got like a cobalt blue. You've got like a lilac. You've got a marine blue. That's gorgeous. That's like, oh, can you see that? I'm just putting shot. Um, that's like a antique Victorian rose, isn't it? Ecru, I'm guessing. Um, oh, is that nude? No, nude's coming up later. Nude's coming up later. Oh, I've got the number here. Finishes 10. Oh, they've changed some of their colours because the nude used to be further on. Pink, purple, oh, that's magenta. Then you've got dark teal. Then you've got, I'd call it hot tomato, yes. T turquoise or aqua. Fifty-nine, that one. Coral. 
Come on, cat. O2, O2. Anyway, lavender, fuchsia, chartreuse. I thought that one was nude. They've called that one peach now. Soft turquoise, orange, grass green, which I know isn't called grass green, sky blue, another, there's a lot of lovely soft pinks in here. Um, cyan. Sage. Oh, oh, oh. No, brunette. Brunette. Lime, orange, khaki, yellow. I'm not going to go through all those again, but I'm just going to show you. You get half a metre of every single one. Of no, no, no. Right, OK. It was limited anyway. There are three not being checked out. No, no. Yeah, there are three not being checked out and there are four in baskets. So one of you, when you come to check out, will get a message saying, sorry, didn't get it. So... I'm not, I'm not adding any undue pressure. I'm just keeping you informed because I don't want you to think, oh, I've got that. I'll put it, but put it in your basket. Doesn't reserve it. It shows us that you're interested, but until you check out, until you check out, and that's why we do the one PMP, you see. So, because some people are thinking, oh, I'll wait to see what else there is as well. Check out, if you know you want this, check out, check out, check out, and then you can carry on shopping because you're not paying any more PMP. Okay, Sarah has got one. Somebody in Cheshire's got one. We don't use that word, Kat. You should never use that word. We were told at the beginning. I don't know if it's changed. But anyway. Oh, right. There's one left. There's one left. Okay. Thank you ever so much. There's one left, but how many in baskets? Right, okay. There's one not checked out and five people have got it in their basket. So four of you will get a message saying, sorry, sold out. Not, I'm not gloating. I'm just saying... Please be careful. That's what, that's what, you know, it's a, such a fantastic buy. Right, now, we haven't got, have we got a slide to go to? Or am I just going to walk? How to get in touch? About I've walked. Oh, now it says Paul's watching again. Paul's bobbing in and out of the show today. Oh, no, it's an old message. Right. Where? Where do we start now? Where do we start? Oh, now I know where I want to start. <coughs> I was watching the show on Sunday, uh, Debbie was on and Rachel was here. And Rachel was making a hopscotch mat, right? The one, a, one was a Christmas version, one was an Alison Glass version. Within the kit were Alison Glass fat quarters. And I, in my brain, I was like, I want those. I want those. But I didn't need the extra fabric that went with it. Guess what I've got now? I've only got the Alison Glass fat quarters with no extra fabric on their own. Loving these. I mean, her, the colours, the colours are exquisite. Twenty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. So let's have a let's have a talk of these colours, right? So you've obviously got a fuchsia, a red, a mustard or gold, lime green, grass green, lovely sky blue, purple, and lilac or lavender. Oh, let. Oh, it's the first time you've offered these on their own. Right, I'll open one up so you can see the pattern, because all the patterns will be the same, just different colours. So they're fat quarters. So fat quarters, sorry, little burp there. Oh, 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 I take that back. The patterns might not be the same. Fat quarter, for those of you who don't know, you take a metre of fabric in Europe or United Kingdom, or if it's in America, it's a yard. So you've got a metre like that. You cut it down the middle that way and cross the middle that way, making four equal pieces. They are fat quarters. You see, that, that, you know what will happen? Old um, political correctness will come in. We won't be allowed to, because you're not allowed to call it two fat ladies at bingo anymore, are you? You're not allowed to go two fat ladies, not clickety click, two fat ladies, 88. No. Right, hang on a sec then. So this one here, oh, that's the, it's the right way up. Oh, okay, so it might be different patterns. This is moths and octopuses. Oh, it's a mishmash of all sorts, isn't it? Because look, there's churches, moons, scissors, moths, whatever that is. That is not a paintbrush. This is the right way up, Elliot. J just so you know, this is the right way up for the fabric. Because your S. Elvidge is always on the right-hand side, look. Everything's upside down. She's drawing it upside down, isn't she? Okay, so le uh, let me have a look then. So you think the patterns are different? Oh, they are. No, I actually, 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 some of the, uh, uh, some of the, <coughs> like the church that was on that one and the paintbrush that was on that one is on this one.
These are from the embroidery section of the Sun Prince range. Where's the American Eagle? I can't even see it, so I'll move on. Right, okay, so what's the blue, what's this one here? I won't do all of them like this because we'll get on, but hang on. Oh, this is nice. This one's very busy. This is how I want my tattoo to be. You see, my niece bought me a tattoo for my 40th birthday. And of course, I haven't been able to have it yet, have I? And I've, there's this man in London called Dan and Out who does tattoos, and I really want him to do it. But all my friends and family are like, well, you can't have one of those. You can't have one of those. And then my other friend said, um, you do realise on old skin, it won't look like it looks on those models. And I was like, oh, thanks. Right, one last one. Open one last one. There we go. Now this is different again, look. Oh, look, there's the octopus. There's the paintbrush. It's because it's cut from different parts of the fabric, isn't it? That's why. Anyway, I'll move on. I'll move on. I'll move on. That's gorgeous. Right. How much is that? $25.99. All right, I'll give you $25.99 later. Right. Where's next? Oh, there's so many. I don't know where to go. Rainbow mixer fabrics. Rainbow mixer. Oh, the oh, oh, right. Hang on, these are very different. I'll lay these out. The mock mittle. Oh, <laughs> I'll start that again. The fabric is a mottled pattern, right? Can you see all those, Elliot? I'll move my belly out the way. Twenty three ninety nine. There's. $23.99, so you get a yellow, a green, a pink, a purple, a blue, and an orange. That, that one there, that's like a lavender. Oh, Becky Alexander Frock's watching, and she knows I've mentioned the fridge. Yes, yeah, she, she's, and, well, you have, you're like, oh, you won't be able to talk to her, because she's already recorded it. Oh, she can't move the fridge. No, she can't move the fridge. It's huge. It's bigger than the kitchen. Margaret, it's bigger than the kitchen. Um, and also her husband, the ginger ninja, is he's known to his friends, right? He's not very strong. He won't be able to move a fridge on his own. Oh, right, Claire, uh, Liam hasn't been in yet. It's not Munch doing it. It's another man called Liam who I've not yet met. They've got the go ahead. The purchase order's gone through. So the tables are being raised very soon. They are, it's only because they keep bashing on my belt and people don't like it. Oh, everyone's saying hello. Yeah, Delphine's on at 10. Why, did somebody think that... Um, right, Alan, it's not always 22 by 18. Alan's saying a fat quarter is always... Because, Alan, if your fabric is 60 inches wide and you still can do a fat quarter of that, then it makes it 30, doesn't it? And I'm not trying to prove you wrong or anything, but it's different. Um, these are gorgeous. Look at those again. What was I saying? Oh... Yeah, I'll show the bunny. Delphine is up in a minute. Oh, no, you've not met Mr. yet, June. She was late. June. She was late. She's on the next hour. She's only doing one hour today, though. So you have to make the most. And it wasn't her fault. There's roadworks. There's roadworks. Okay. There's the bunny. I'll let Elliot show you. Well, how many have you got? How many have we got? That one's Bobby. This one's Bella. Do you know what? There's no management in, are there? Right, at half past nine, this is very important, at half past nine, because there's no management in, we're going to put these on pre-order. If we can, if the computer will let us. So at half past nine, remind me, and I'll tell you. There's a green one as well called... Bessie, Betty, Betty. So this is Bobby, this is Bella, and there's Betty here who's green. And that's the one she's going to be making. And what? What? Well, we didn't say a price. Yeah, we didn't say a price. How much? Right, okay, how much are they? Have a guess. How much, no prizes. Have a guess how much you think they are. You get the panel and you get the stuffing. And you get the instructions. If, if the instructions arrive in time, but you'll get the instructions. Someone's just going to get them. And a free demo from Delphine. 
Yeah, we'll, everyone who buys it will make a come to your house and do a free demo that way around. Can you imagine? We've got hundreds and hundreds and up, oh, up. Oh. No, sh Bobby fell off. There we go. Red to yellow next. Oh, look at the time. And we'll, we'll, at half past, we'll see if we can put those on pre-order at half past for you. This one's called, very imaginatively, red to yellow. Now, I wouldn't have called it red to yellow personally. I'd have called it flame. Wouldn't you? Phoenix rising, maybe. Oh, Nicola's had a guess already. Is it right? It's not right, Nicola. Right, anyway, moving on. Uh, red to yellow, plain fabric bundle, three metres. These are all uh, quilting weight cottons. 44 inches wide. Right, now if you're doing a Bargello, you need 10 colours. So you can get half a Bargello out of this one. Yeah. Well, actually, actually, actually. Look. No, hang on. Hang on. Now that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, how gorgeous a Bargello. If this is what the red to orange is. Then we'll add this one to it, maybe. Evening Sky, funny name. Right, okay. Oh, 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 I'm just looking, I'm just looking. Oh, oh yeah, I'm thinking Bargello now. Beautiful. Anyway, anyway, this is the called the red, red to yellow. You see, anyway, who, made, who named this one then? Glynny says 29.99. Lorraine says 38.99. I haven't got Andrea. Oh, yes, I have no Andrea. No, Andrea. That might buy you the instructions. Anyway, that's your red to yellow. We'll do Evening Sky next. Kat wants us to do that because she named it, you see. Evening Sky. Right, if your sky is this colour at night time, Kat, There you go. If the sky is that colour above your house, then you'd move. Uh, Maria. Fiona's off to work. She'll be watching later. Anyway, look. Five different colours there. £19.49. pence. Maria, the, the, the instructions are that much. Uh, Judith, that's more like it. Anyway. Uh, do you want to see the pattern? Have a look at the pattern. What, what fabric is this, please? John Loudon. It's John Loudon. Oh, I'm sorry it's not ironed. I'm going to have to have a word. Oh, Nicola, I quite like going to the optician. Oh, now, Nicola, if it's like our opticians, they'll make you put your bag, your handbag, in a box as you go in. Oh, Kat had to do that at the dentist the other day as well. Anyway, have a good time. What's awful, isn't it, is if you get an optician with bad breath? Because they come up to you like that, don't they, with that thing. I mean, oh, I don't know. How, are they allowed to? I don't know how they do it. They'll have their things on, won't they? The petrol station, the man in the petrol station last night had a vis whole full visor on. My f next door neighbour, Chris, she wears one of those full visors when she goes bowling. Right, next. This what? Oh, li the one that Kat made is limited. That's funny, isn't it? Lime to teal. These are nice colours. Did you do, no, you didn't do this one, did you? So you got peppermint, sage, chartreuse, lime, teal, and another one. You see to me? Oh, anyway. Uh, now, actually, I think that one's misty blue. That's misty blue because it's green. That one's always been misty blue, hasn't it? Carol says, good morning, love the fabrics. And Maria's had another guess. No. Oh, the Mega Bundle sold out. 
Oh, the Alison Glass half, the stock has gone. Now, I I'm just thinking, right, if you bought the red to orange, the lime to teal, and the pink to pink, and the neutral, that might make an equivalent of a big bundle. Now, the thing is, you can't do split pay. You can't put lots and lots of things for things in your basket and get to £149. That can only be on an individual item, just so you know. Well, it's just good to know, because I'd be thinking at home, well, I'll put that in there, that in there, and that, and then get split pay. It doesn't work like that. Okay, we're doing the big neutral bundle next, then. I've got two neutrals. This one's one, two, three, four, five, three and a half metres, this one. So you get your ivory. That's not, oh no, hang on, that's ivory. This, that's that crewy colour. That's that calico colour, isn't it? Soft silver. The neutral bundles always sell really, really quickly. Ivory cream. Well, that's a different nude. Nude. Silver. Elephant. Elephant, dark grey and black. They're lovely. Now, I say they always sell out really quickly, right? I, I say that. But um, they, uh, that was where I used to work before, you see. Oh, isn't that funny? No, it's the same. Yeah, I'm sorry, everybody. I was just checking. I was thinking I'd misinformed you. The what? £23, £49, pence, there's three and a half metres in there. These always, because always, what colours do you need, right? What colours do you always go for? Neutrals. It's like your threads, isn't it? Alan says, what sewing machines does sewing machine have in stock? Right, Alan, I've got a, a Juki coming up later on in my last hour. We've got the Elna 550, and then if there's any others available, they'll be on the website. That's the best way to do it. The Italian 9, isn't it a mixture of the two, Italian 9? Yeah, sewing and embroidery. All available on split pay. Even the 550 is available on split pay. Right, next. I know this one, pinks. Oh, except. Oh, never mind, never mind. Pinks. Oh, it's pink to peach, this one. Peachy pink. Three metres. Oh, I like those colours. They're nice, aren't they? Now, what would you call that one? No, it's not berry, not berry. Oh, Jill says, I got the mega bundle today. I missed out the other day. Oh, brilliant. Well done. What, um, what would you call that then? Oh, it could be, yeah. I don't know. Oh, where we go. Elliot's going to have a go now. It'll be food related. What is it then, Elliot? I know what it is. It's Elliot when you tell him a joke, right? So this is Elliot normal day, right? If you tell him a naughty joke, he goes one of these colours. That's Elliot when he's got a... F now I'm talking about jokes. I'm talking about jokes now, not what you, you know. You do get blushed. You do get flustered. Not flustered, flushed sometimes. Oh, I know. I'd call it menopause. Menopause, because they're all the colours. Oh, sorry, I've lifted up there. Look, they're all the colours I go on the different temperatures. That's it called. That's what I'd call that one. Manopause. Yeah. Oh, 29 minutes past. We, well, hopefully, we'll be putting the bunnies, but we have to check that we can do it. I'll do another bundle. Oh, oh, now. I've got, I'll leave those ones till the end, because they've got spots on them. So I've got two pastels and a neutral. I've got a neutral because it's in front of me. This is a smaller neutral. A latte, this one is called. I call this one latte or coffee shop. Coffee shop because that's the coffee. Oh, the upstairs camera's not playing. I'll hold them up. I'll hold them up. This one's coffee. That one's the froth. And that one's chocolate. Sprinkle on the top. That, you can't show that, Elliot. <sighs> there you go. It's not a very 
למיצית, למיצית, למיצית. Caramel, vanilla and chocolate is what um, Elliot's saying. <coughs> oh, do you know what I'd love? I'd love a soy vanilla latte right now. Where's the nearest one? I'm not going all the way there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not going. I have to drive straight to uh, Western Supermare. So there'll be no stopping for coffee with me. Pre-order is going on now. The rabbits, you've got Bella, you've got Bobby, and you've got Betty. You haven't seen Betty. Betty's in green. There, I'll show you how to get to pre-order. Right, this is how you do it. Go to the website. Right, go to the website. You go along what? Watch live. Scroll down, we're going to give away the price now. Oh, there's the early bird deals from this morning. Oh, where are they? Oh, they're not there yet. Oh, is it because we're not allowed to do it? Oh, no. Oh, now everyone's going to complain now that they're not there. Leave it with us. Leave it with us. We'll fix it. So there's Bobby. There's Bella. And this is the colourway of Betty. That's the colourway of Betty. Minty green. Oh, minty green. Okay, I'll put that back. It's linear print though, isn't it? I'll carry on. I'll carry on what we're doing here. Put that away. Right, what b bundle are we going on to now then? The big pastels. Pink, that's a lovely clotted cream colour, that one, isn't it? Oh, these are sorbet colours, I'd call these. Two and a half metres. £15.45. pence. Thank you, Jess. <coughs> so this one is called Pastel Plain, 100% cotton. Two and a half metres. Oh, I'm saving £2. It's £2 off this one for some reason. Oh, they're not allowed. Oh, bear with us. We are working on the on the bunnies to go on pre-order. Cat might not. My cat might have tried to do an illegal move. Anyway, let me move on with that one. Thank you. And then I'll do the pastel barley pop now. Now. That's what I've got to ask um, Delphine as well, is we had these in bags, open in bags. And I went to get one the other day and this little Delphine took it home. So I have to ask her, wouldn't I, when she comes in. Poor old Delphine gets the blame for everything, doesn't she? Barley pop, barley pop, ooh, barley, barley pop. These are 44 inches wide and they are two and a half inches wide, like a design roll. And they are already, they're laser cut for you. Do you know what? They've all gone. They've all disappeared. They've all disappeared now. Anyway, they're lovely. They're beautiful. They are um, batik printed. Barley pop. 39 So they're a pound each because there's 40 pieces of fabric in there. That's not the pastel one, is it? That's this one. Oh. Oh. Well, it's hardly pastel, is it? Is the iron on? No, not yet. These are what they look like. They're for, these are cut, these ones I'm putting on here. So just so to give you an idea of some of the colours you get them and the effects that you get. They do need to be ironed. What's it trying to say, Cap? Okay, I'll show you in a sec. I'll just do this. Oh, right, okay. They're, they're, they're those, right? 39.99. Right, I need to tell you something. Who's got it? 
Sylvia's got her bunny because they're on pre-order right now. Look, go to the website, click on watch the show live. There's me, stuff in the bag. There's the early bird deals. You have to click on early bird deals. Oh, you have to click on early bird deals. Scroll down, down, down. There they are. How much are they? $24.99. And for that, you get the instructions, the panel, and the stuffing. And who was it in Gloucestershire who just bought one? Why is... Jo oh, no. No, Christine. Christine, I wasn't being nasty. I wasn't being nasty at all. I was just talking about... the Because uh, I get really bad hot flushes and everything. I promise you I wasn't being nasty. And I do apologise if I've upset you. Manopause, I called it. And I, I don't think there's anything funny about it because I'm living through it, I know. So I do apologise, Christine. Um, how long are the barley pops there? 44 inches long, two and a half inches wide. I haven't got a full one here, I'm afraid. I haven't got a full one here. Right, OK. Let's do the autumnal one now. I haven't got the open one for this, though. I haven't got the open one for this. Have a look at that. Delphine's coming in now, so I'll ask her. Yeah, yeah, I'm just checking this message with Christine to make sure I haven't upset her, because I think I have. Okay, Christine, that's, I've taken that on board, Christine. Thank you for letting me know. Right. £39.99. Hoffman Barley Pop, 40-piece autumn spotty pack. Beautiful. Moving on. Oh, are we? Well, we can always go back. We can always go back, can't we? Because I've got them all here. I've got them all here. Right, what colour would you like to go to next, then? This one here, autumn. Autumn fabric. So this one here is three planes and two spots. There you go. Uh, how much is this, then? £17.99. Gorgeous, aren't they? So you've got two and a half metres of fabric. They're all 100% cotton. All machine washable. Fabulous, aren't they? So you've got, is that hot tomato? I think that's hot tomato, conquer, crimson. And I don't know the colours of the ones with spots on. Tan spot and yellow spot. £17.99. It's like, well, autumn, well, the autumn leaves are really dropping, aren't they? Mmm. No, no, because I mowed my lawn at the weekend. I thought, oh, that's lovely. And then went upstairs, came back downstairs, and the lawn was completely covered in, in all the golden leaves and everything. £17.99. Uh, Sonia, no, not Sonia. Sophia, Sophia is saying she loves those colours together. Aren't they gorgeous? Thank you, Kate. Thanks for that. Right, £17.99. Okay. Oh, oh, right. Remember, it's one PMP. If you've got any basket, please don't. Well, you can do what you want. The choice is yours. I'm not adding any undue pressure whatsoever. But all I want to say to you is people are checking out all the time because there's only one PMP for the whole day. Right, you have. Next. Okay, what's the other one called? Okay, so this one is pastel then. This one's pastel spots. Right. So you've got the mauvey, mauvey purple at the top there. Yes, I, would, I wouldn't call these pastel. I'd call these muted. Two and a half metres. Yeah, nice muted. Nice muted. Oh, Glynis has got her dolly kit. They are selling fast, Glynis, you're right. Right, here we go, look, so, each of these are half a metre in size, they're all 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, 100% cotton. Uh, oh, you could make little dresses for your bunnies if you wanted to, or little shorts, or lots of half square triangles. They're lovely, aren't they? Lovely colour. What colour did we say that one was, sorry? A lovely softness to them. They're Rose and Hubble, yeah, they're Rose and Hubble, yeah. 
Oh, that one's just called Pale Blue, that one. That one's tan, I think, isn't it? Lilac, rose, and plum. Nice. 18 pounds and 99 pence for two and a half meters of fabric, that. Two and a half meters of fabric, that one. Thank you, Margaret, my love. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea, as well. Oh, right, right, right. Linda says she can't find the bunny kits. Right, go to the website, click on watch the live show, click on early bird specials. There. Scroll down. Now you have to scroll quite a way down. Why is it under early bird specials? I don't quite understand why it's under early bird specials. Okay. And then there they are at the bottom. Look there. Delphine's Bella, Bobby and Betty. Go on, click on one and have a look at it. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. You click on it. You just get the picture of everything you got there. But you can add it to your basket. But you've just added that to your basket. Now you've got to proceed to check out, Kat. There you go. And then you can pay securely. But don't do that because we then see Kat's address then. We'll then see Kat's address then. Right, so let me do the pastel on its own bundle next. Oh, hang on. Let's just, I thought there were five. For some reason, I thought there were five there. This is the other pastel bundle. Four in this one. You get two meters in total. 13 pounds and 49 pence. There we go. Yep, good, good. So what colours do you get here then? Mint, lemon, blush, and pale blue. Oh, would you? Eggshell blue. I know, when, when, the, when the lockdown first happened, they were mixing the blue eggs with the normal eggs, weren't they, to eat them out so we could all get eggs, yeah. Cotswold, I think they're called Cotswold Blues, aren't they? So this is two metre fabric, 13 pounds and 49 pence. Now, obviously, if you buy two of these, you will get two blues, two yellows, two greens, two pinks. They've already been cut, so they won't be joined together. So you know I mean? In theory, you'll be getting a metre of each colour, but they're already cut into the half metre pieces. Oh, Betty. Betty. Betty's the dog. Is Betty a dog? I think Betty's a dog. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't be wagging its tail if it was a rabbit, would it? Aww. Don't get a bunny rabbit toy for the dog. £13.49. Aww. Anyway, moving on. I will re go over some of these, don't worry, won't worry. Oh no, I tell you what I could do. I could do those where have the threads gone from here? Yeah, we could do the threads, couldn't we? Because the threads would go beautifully with all of these, wouldn't they? I've got some embroidery threads there. We had some threads in the first hour that we didn't get to. And because they're multicoloured, they go beautifully with these. I've got some here and I've got the uh, stabilizers here. So I'll just get the other ones for you. Right, look at these. Let me move that one from that one so you can see. There were, there were three here. That, oh, there, that's fine. I can get them then. Thank you. Look, have a look at those. Aren't they gorgeous colours? So you get half a metre of the lilac -y lavender one, half a metre of, meter of the soft aqua one, half a metre of the... See, I'd call that... Not sure what to call that. Then you've got half a metre of your sky. And that's not minty green. That's got more blue in it than a minty green. That Was that one there? Oh, uh, turquoise, cat's saying. So, sky, light, turquoise, lavender, and... Rose. Oh, is that rose? Yeah. No, oh, it's rose, that one. £18.99. You get two and a half metres of spot. It's not spot on. It's the uh, Rose and Hubble spot version. Keep moving on with these. Anyway, moving on. Beautiful. Right, the Alison glass are here. I've got Alison glass here ready. 
and then I'll show I'll do some threads oh yeah yeah look this is gorgeous this the colors in here what for what are you making cat what are you gonna make out of it though cat she's gonna do tumbling blocks Hannah loves a tumbling block one as well there you go little cushions oh Elliot I can't imagine you living in a house with little cushions Elliot I know like you like colored things but it's kind of like I can't see you do you know fluffing up your cushions on the sofa what's a poggle Betty's a poggle so it'd be half pug half le. what's a poggle Puggle, it'd be half pug and half beagle, is it? Oh, I bet that's lovely. I th we're guessing, we're guessing that that's what she is. Anyway, look at these, these are lovely. $25.99. Oh, it is half beagle, Andrea says half beagle. These are limited, I'm afraid, now. First time they've ever been offered on their own. $25.99. They're love. I do love Alison Glass prints and the colours. And I remember Rachel saying these were brilliant to sew with as well. You could embroider around the shapes if you wanted to, uh, Elliot, and make a really gorgeous fabric. They are beautiful. I love the colours are pure, aren't they? Very, very. Maybe I wouldn't put that one next to that one. Let's just move those around a bit like that. That's the whole. F I know. The thing is, you're just going to sit and play with them and move them around, aren't you? They are gorgeous. Right, be careful with that. If you've got those in your basket, be very, very careful. Okay, right. So we've got as many available as are in baskets. So if we've got 10, I'm making the number up because I don't know, but if we've got 10, 10 people have got them in their baskets. So if we've got five, five people have got them in baskets. But so all it takes is for someone else to come in. I'll have that, put it in their basket or ring the call centre and buy it and then one of you is going to miss out. And I don't want to, I don't want to spoil your day by saying you're not going to get it, but I, and I also don't want to add any undue, any undue uh, pressure. Is that the right word? But basically, I don't want you to miss out because I know what it's like to miss out. If you've been, it's like if you put something in your basket and you think, well, I've got that now, I've got that. Don't need to worry. And then of course you come to get it. I'm usually like that with my Christmas decorations. Oh, now, now I don't know what my Christmas decorations are this year. Every year I do do. Come with me. Oh, now have a look at, have a look at how to get in touch. I have to get rid of the graphics first. Because I've got to walk, you see, I've got to walk over there. Studio at sewingstreet.com. We've had no emails today, apparently. And none at all. <laughs> oh. We've got Facebook. Lots of people messaging on Facebook. Lots of people. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, there's a new one, isn't there? So if you go to the website... If you go to the website, there's a place now that you can message straight through to Kat in the gallery. I'll show you, like, on the website here, click Watch Live. Where is it? Oh, there, I can see it now. It's below Add to Basket. See, Kat's typing it now, and she's gone suddenly into capital letters, so I can see it. Send message. Oh, and then it comes up at the bottom of the screen, doesn't it? Watch. It says, this is cat's half message. Look, what will it say? It's come from Catherine in the West Midlands. Hello, John, over here, it says. Oh, fantastic. I forgot about that. Right, now, these were meant to be in the first hour, but we ran out of time, and they weren't going to do Sashko. They're different threads, right? I've got th th three metlers, and then I've got the embroidery thread here, and I've got some stablers, I just... Right, now these are all available on split pay. Which one would you like to start with? So this one is Polly Sheen, this one. This one's Polly Sheen. The numbers are on the boxes. I haven't got the numbers. Yeah, Polly Sheen. Right, look at this, right? Is that the right place? Oh, sort of. I'm just doing it so you can see all the threads. There you go. So you get all of these, right? For 149.99, which means split pay of 49.99, three months at 49 pounds and 99 pence, right? Then, but look, you get oh, it's not in, it's in its bag. Hang on. You also get this now. You, if you went to the shop to buy this, 
This costs £25. This is a colour chart of all the metlers in... Now, is there enough room? Is there enough room for you to... There you go. If I f yeah, tw that's what you said, Cat. £25 is what you pay for this normally. I've done what? In a where? Oh, I've seen the dog in a tutu. In real life or on a picture. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I remember. I remember. Yes, Andrea's dog. Yes, I'm, there's so much going on this morning. I do apologise. Right. Now, look, these aren't just colours. These are threads wound around little bits of cardboard. So you get the pure, pure colour. Because, you know, sometimes it's like when you choose paint, isn't it? You choose the colour and then you actually go and get the paint. And it's a completely different colour. Even, I'm just going to move this, right? Look at the neon colours in here. Oh, there's variegated. Oh, oh. Oh, all my tellies in here have gone off. Oh, it's back. Yeah, all the tellies in here have gone off. Restart required, it says. Okay, it'll be fixed, it'll be fixed. I'll just carry on. I can't see anything in here, right? So anyway, you look at all these colours. Can you see all those gorgeous colours in there? Uh, aren't they stunning? Now, the thing about having the card is once you've used all of these... Now you, are you on this one up here? Yeah, so you can sort the telly out for me, Kat. That's all right. Anyway, all the beautiful colours. You can see what colours you get in there. And then you've got the chart. See, if you want to replace the one that you've already got or you want to buy some new colours. Split pay. What was it? 49? 49, nine times three months. The first one, obviously, you pay um, your P&P &P on top of that as well. We had a message from Lorraine. Good morning, John. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Lorraine. Oh, she said, love the Metla thread case. Think I need it as an early Christmas present to myself. But you know what you need to do? I've got three different cases here. So before you check out on this one, have a, Elliot's just resetting the screens in here because we can't. Uh, I'm just staying on that picture for a second because everything's gone to black in here. Right, we're fine. Thank you, Elliot. Oh, no, not quite yet. It's not quite sorted yet. Oh, now the messages are coming up now. So the message from Janice. Is that our Janice? Oh, no, Jan that's Janice in Cheshire. Janice Cheshire. Hello, John. Looking forward to watching you and Delphine making the bunnies. I uh, won't be making one. Delphine will be, but I won't be. Right, OK, let me put that there. Now, am I ready to move on? Can Elliot move into the other room and we can change the camera shot now? Oh, we're back to me. Well, that was clever because Elliot's still in here. Right, so that was Metla Polysheen. Right, oh, hang on, John, come on. You see, they come, they come in this case, right? So they're kept nice and safe. They're going to be dust-free. And imagine what you can use that case for afterwards. Right, which one would you like to do next? Right, this one, oh, now these are cotton. Those were polyester. Oh, no, they weren't polyester. They were the polysheen. These are the oh, polyester. And these are the cotton ones. So these are 100% cotton threads. S same sort of colour range. And you get the cotton card in there as well with all the different colours in. I won't open the whole thing out. These are silky finish on cotton, aren't they? Hang on, it says silk finish cotton thread. So they're cotton, the threads are cotton, but they've got a silky finish to them. Beautiful. So I, I would save these for top stitching and embroidery and things like that. I wouldn't necessarily use these for your uh, dressmaking or your craft making, only for the top stitching, because the colours are just exquisite to be seen, aren't they? Okay, and then I've also got the last one of these cases, also available on split pay. Now, this is special. This is Seralon. Seralon. Right, and I'll just read this bit here. They're all the same price. These are a specially made um, polyester, aren't they, these? Right, let's just get these out. You get 96 spools. You get the colour chart. And get them on split pay so you can get these home today for... Right, hang on. So what date is it today? 21st of October, 21st of November, 21st of December. Oh, Paid off by Christmas, if you are buying them as a Christmas gift. Because nothing worse is that if you have to, like, I don't understand these people who buy a sofa and pay for it two years later, because then you're paying for a well-worn sofa then, aren't you? 
It's a nice idea, but I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be very comfortable with it. Anyway, split pay, 49.99, three monthly payments. The only difference is, is today, on the first payment, you'd pay your postal packaging as well. But if you've already paid your postal packaging on something else you bought, then we don't add any money to it. It's still the same price. So, yes, yeah, so if you bought your early bird, saving £2, or you bought one of the fabric bundles that had fat savings on them, you've already paid your P&P. <gasps> Imagine if you bought the mega bundle. Wouldn't these go lovely with the mega bundle? Beautiful with the mega bundle. Oh, yeah, the mega bundle sold out, just so you know. Oh, the elephant glass is sold out now as well. What, what do you mean? Right, now this, if you do embroidery, if you do embroidery, this box is fantastic. Oh. Look at this. 50 spools in here. I've got this. I've got this at home. 50 spools, 49.99, which makes them a pound each, doesn't it, right? But don't forget, if you were to buy this box on its own, that's 14.99. We don't sell it anymore, but that's 14.99. 14 pounds and 99 pence. I'll move it back. 49.99 this one. They're a pound each. Well, less I know all that thread. Perfect for your embroidery. Well, it depends on how much you're embroidered. Elliot keeps asking, how long would it last? How long would it take to use up all of that? Well, it depends how much you use it, how much you embroider, doesn't it, really? But I've had mine, I've had mine now for nearly a year, and there's still lots and lots of them left. 0800-001-4433. Or, of course, come on the website, give us a call, or go on the website. £49.99, £3.95 post packaging for the whole day, remember. Right, I've run out of time. So Delphine is coming in now. So we've got three rabbits. We've got Bobby, we've got Betty, and we've got Bella. They are incredible. They're all on pre-order right now. Right now, they're available right now. So during the break, maybe buy yours during the break, and then watch Delphine making it during the next hour. Um, we'll see you in four minutes from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns, which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So, number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. 
every month you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. To see me back. <laughs> <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi, I'm Becky Alexander Frost, and Sewing Street have asked me to join their team as one of our guest designers. I own a sewing pattern design company. My pattern design company is RJAF Makes. RJAF Makes is my initials. Um, even though it's Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost, um, I prefer being known as Becky and you guys get to call me Becky. I've been sewing just over 28 years thanks to my mother who taught me and I'm now bringing patterns to Sewing Street. So I look forward to seeing you guys. These are flying out, I need to warn you, we put them on prepay at half past nine. No, not prepay. Pre-order at half past nine and they're absolutely flying out just to warn you. Actually, let me do the bundles before I do any chattering or anything like that. Let me do the bundles. So we've got Bella here. So what you get is if you buy this bundle, you get this fabulous uh, instructions booklet. You get a bag of toy stuffing. Uh, you get a cardboard box with it in. And you get this panel, which I'll hold up, Elliot, if that's all right. So you can do, you can do a pan across it. £24.99. pence. Right, half the stock of the pink has gone already. Half the stock of pink has gone already. Oh, you see now, people are buying the pink one, the blue one and the green one to make a family of bunnies. So I'm not going to go through all the pattern, because we'll look at the pattern pieces when Delphine starts her demonstration. I just want you to see the three different colours. Oh, and that will make this, obviously. That makes this. Look at the size. Nice, decent size, isn't it, as well? Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. So that's the pink one. So that's Bella. I'll just put Bella to the side there. This is Bobby. All right, Bob. This is Bobby. Cute. Gets nice with my shirt, doesn't he, Bobby? Same price, different colourway, so you get, you get the instructions, you get the stuffing, and you get the panel. You get the panel, here it is, this is Bobby Bunny. You get the panel there. Oops, sorry, my bad. Gorgeous, 24, nine. I like the blue, you see, I do like that blue. It's a nice, strong blue, isn't it, that one? So that's Bobby, $24.99. So again, you get the stuffing, the booklet of instructions. I'll go through the instructions in a minute when I've cleared my table, right? Uh, and that will make, I'll put Bella there, and I'll put Bobby there. Come on, you two. Play nice. There we go. And then last but not least, this one you have, this is the one you haven't seen. This is Betty. I'll just hold up there. Lovely, soft green. Now, I'll ask Delphine in a minute what colour green we were trying to decide earlier, is it sage? Is it peppermint? Beautiful, soft green, isn't it? Now, it's not funny, you've not seen this one, but this is the second most popular. This one's in second place. And you've not even seen the green one. There's no green one to be seen. 
So you get the panel, you get the stuffing, and you get the instructions. Right, let me show you the instructions, because they're not just some old photocopied sheet of paper. Oh, no, not with Delphine Brooks. Look, let me get in the right place on the table. Right, okay, here we go. Here it is. Bella and Friends. Soft toy bunny. Step-by-step -step instructions. Skill level, confident beginner. Right, I'm just going to flick through them because this is very important. I always say this when you start a pattern. Oh, hang on, which one am I going? Please read the instructions thoroughly before you begin. Get yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee, sit down, read it like a magazine, look at all the pieces, and then so you can start off with that. So look, and then all the writing, all the pictures you could want. Oh, well, no, this will be funny if Delphine changed her top halfway through. Let's have a look. Is there another cuff? Oh, no, there's no more cuffs. So look. And how beautifully printed up are they? That's going to... You see, after you've made... Oh, now maybe I shouldn't say this. What I would do is I'd take a pattern from the pattern and then you can use... Because if you're doing a memory, a memory bunny or something like that, you could use your stash and make another one later. Oh, apparently Delphine makes memory bags, so I'll ask her about that in a second. Anyway, aren't they lovely? Really, really gorgeous instructions there. Right. Oh, well, that's a warning already. About Bella. Bella, warning. Hmm? Bella, the pink one. Limited on the pink one. Bella is limited. The green one, over half of the green one's gone, and the blue one, half the blue one's gone. So they're all going to go. They're all going to go. Right, so I'm going to sit down now and say hello to Delphine. Hello, John. How are you? Oh, I'm very well. Now Good. I'm here. Oh, no, it must have been <laughs> horrible. So Delphine was stuck in traffic, and there's road, there's big roadworks just around the corner to here. And I got stuck in them at 6 o'clock this morning, so goodness knows what it must have been like yeah. later. Because she's got uh, Hayley messaging, and you're nearly there, you're nearly there. And she's like, ooh. And of course, she never uses her phone at the wheel, so she can't no, reply. So we don't know where she is. <laughs> anyway, you're here now. I'm here now, yeah. So, That's yeah, all good. All good, all good. Yeah. Have they made you a cup of tea or something? I made myself a coffee. Oh, I, was, okay. I was having a chat with Rebecca. So oh, OK. Then. Coming up with new ideas. Perfect, yeah. perfect. So, shall we start? Now, you're going to do one hour today. Yes, just the one today. OK. Because yeah. I read the menu out yesterday and I was like, oh, she's staying on with sewing machines. I did it? see that and I was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not. If you want, I don't mind. No, that's fine to make the most of it. But you're on again quite soon, aren't Friday. you? Friday. Oh, Friday. Yeah. There you go. Friday. Friday. Right. Where do we start? What do we do? Right. Well, like you say, sit and read the instructions first, yeah. always. And then the pattern piece comes as the one big panel, and then you haven't got to leave a seam allowance or anything like that. You just cut out the pieces. Oh, oh okay. So you cut it yeah. where the colours change. All you within cut it out the seam allowance, yeah. yeah. I'll hold one out like that. There you go. Yeah, lovely. So it's all within the seam allowance, so you haven't got to worry about that. And what um, is the seam allowance? A quarter of an inch. Perfect. So with I, you can use the panel as it is, or if you want to make it a bit more stable, you can use an interfacing. So an iron-on interfacing, all that does is just make it that little bit... I'll bit show you this afterwards. I'll yeah. show you that so afterwards. So it keeps it a little bit sturdier, stops it so, away. So what, did you interface all of the pieces? Yes, you can do it. I mean, I have done it both ways. I've done it without and I've done it with interfacing. So it all depends on uh, if you're quite confident uh, sewer, then you can do it without. But if you're not, then it just gives it a bit more stability. Oh, OK, that's, so the, that's the only That's the only now. thing. Or do you think if you're going to give it to a child, it's going to throw it around the room? Would and it will stretch. It will stop it from stretching. Yeah. And also, I mean, it's none of it is really cut on the bias because obviously interfacing stops any stretchy materials. Of course, yes. But again, when you said about memory bears, if you are going, I've made quite a few. Um, oh, okay. And if you are going to be using stretchy fabric, it is ideal to use that. Perfect. And it stops it moving around. Right, the graphics interfacing are in. Oh, so we're not going to wait. It's three ninety nine. You get a metre yeah. square there. Okay, so hopefully I haven't lost any pieces between. Oh no, well there'll be, there. there'll be those because those traffic <laughs> lights kind of were changing all at six o'clock this oh, morning. It was really busy. Yeah. It's usually really quiet there, yeah. isn't it? Okay, so I've already gone ahead and cut out quite a few of my pieces. I'm going to start off with the head, so I'll do it as we would in the instructions. Oh, good, yes. So, oh, there's, there's my pin. Oh, I'll need that later. I'll okay. put that there, so I'll, don't let me <coughs> forget that. Okay, so where's my head pieces gone? I was organised, and now it's all gone to put now. Oh, there we there? go. Oh, right. Okay, so, and also some pins, some nice sharp pins. Can I also just suggest at the beginning, if you're, if you're new to it, right, when you cut the pieces out next to all of them, there is a thing saying legs, front, front, but front, but I'll start again, front, front, body, left, front, body, right. I would just cut those out and pin them to yes. them because if you yeah. don't know, because once they're all cut out, you're like, you're not sure. What was that bit yeah. again? Yeah, or so just, just right, on the, right on the back with a pencil yeah. or something. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm not a huge pinner, but when it comes to toys, I tend to do. I tend to use a lot more pins. These flathead pins are really good because they're nice and sharp. But this is the. F is this the first soft toy you've done for us? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've done them. You've been doing them. Yeah. Yeah. I've made. I've made quite a few. So yeah, my first one on uh, on te on telly. Okay. Fine. So yeah. So first head pieces. So here they are. So I've got my two head pieces here. So all I'm going to do is put them right sides together. And the first, the very first line you sew will be just to down this line here. What's that? Is there a, is there a notch or something? So there? Sorry, yes, the, there's a little dart. Uh, it, it oh, is yes, on yes. There. it's there. there oh, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. It is actually on the panel. And the, if, you, if, you, if, if it's a bit faint and you can't quite see it, all you do is we cut out the headpiece. So imagine I've not cut out that little uh, dart just yet. Hang on, we'll just come into that. Just Let's come in. That. Yeah, go, so imagine go. that's not there yet, so I've not cut that piece right. out. All you do is fold it in half, give it a little snip there. And you snip, and again, like the rest of it, there's no seam length, you snip along the actual... Just si snip along the actual thing. bit, yeah. Okay. And then uh, all it does is just give the face a little, make it a little bit puffier. So even if you did... Well, I don't need darts for that <laughs> to be mine. <laughs> so even if you didn't put that dart in... It, it, don't worry about it. All right, I have put it in. If you don't put there. the dart in, does it still fit the body bit that it's supposed it, well, to be? It will. It does. It only. It will be out by only a little bit, but you can manipulate okay, it in. Right, yeah. Right. So first of all, I'm going to sew along from the nose to the neck. Okay. Are we on? Are you on? You got on, your iron on I'm and everything. On. Iron's on. And we're all ready to go. So the graphics in the moment are for the green one. Uh, starting at the top. So with every single stitch, always do a reverse stitch because you want to make sure that they're nice and strong. Yes. Uh, the machine that Delphine's using is the 550. It's available on the website. We haven't got it in our show today, but Alan messaged in earlier asking what machines we had. So the one that Delphine's using is the 550. So I'm not going to sew those darts up yet. I just want to leave those open. Okay. Okay, so the next piece I need my full head piece, which is in the pattern fabric. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, the, the, the kind of section that goes down the front. Oh, oh yes, yeah, this full head, yeah. I'm panicking. It's this one here. Yeah. Have I've you not got it? <laughs> Oof. Oh, 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 right, yes. Oh, oh, good. Right, pins. So the two best ways to pin the... Because um, you want to make sure that once you've sewn this, it's really nice and smooth. You don't want any, any creases. So you put the corner. Which is coming in there, and it's coming in now. There you go. So you put the corner bit right in line with where the nose would be, oh. and put a pin in it there. Right. And then, before you pin the rest of it, come round to one side, taking the bottom, so the bottom piece here. If you want, can you put it flat on the table and then flat on the Elliot yeah. can show it to her. So the, the first pin has gone, just fold, the, fold the, head, the, the forehead bit over. Yep. So the first pin's just gone through the apex. Yep. And then you're taking the bottom of that panel of and the piece. bottom of the face panel and yep. pushing them together. And putting them way. together, yeah. like that. And then that way, because otherwise, if you start at the front and then you go all the way around, you might find that it's, they're not going to match up. So yeah. at least doing it this way, you know they're going to match up. So once I've done that, you're People are going to be frightened because they're going to see there's a big curved seam, but there's no reason to be frightened. No, not that. at all. And uh, th that's why I've done it in quite a, quite a large size because it, it's going to be a lot easier to sew. Oh, yes, yes. You'll also notice on the pattern piece, there should be the little marks. On which one? On the head at the top. Right. Forehead or head? Head. There should be a little mark at the top where the ears will be. On that if one not, or on that one? If not, it's on the knee. pattern piece. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, on the forehead piece. Oh, yeah, on the, on the forehead piece. It's here, it's here, it's here. I was looking on the <laughs> head thinking, there's no <laughs> sign there, Delphine. Here and here. Yes. Yeah, so when you uh, put the forehead piece, oh, there you go. I've got them here. I don't yeah. know if Elliot can pick them up because yeah. they're, quite, they're quite faint. So in the forehead piece, there's two little marks. All you'll do there is put a little mark on with a bit of pen or with the coloured pins because that little gap, you're not going to sew that bit. That's for your ears. Oh, so those two little bits that mark there, then you don't sew it. You don't sew that bit, not oh, yet. Okay. We will. We will later. Yeah, yeah. But not yet. And but that's an instruction. That it's all instruction in the method. instructions. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, and I've done it. I took a lot of photographs, so <laughs> yeah, you can see. So <laughs> I did. So did you take? Did you hold with one hand and take the picture with the other? I hand? did. I was. At, I was in the. Um, I was doing my day in the gallery the other day in uh, Stratford. What did you do? 
Um, my artwork's in the gallery, so we, oh. it's, a, it's a cooperative, so we have to take it in turns by doing the day. Which one? Uh, the one at Clifford Chambers. Uh, you know where the garden centre is, Stratford? Yeah, I was there yesterday. Oh, yeah. The you know the courtyard out the back? Yeah. Yeah, there's an art gallery there called the Courtyard Gallery. My artwork's in there. Oh, because my friend Angie used to have a clothes shop called Poppy Galore in there. Yeah, there's... That's, that's, she's that's, gone, she's moved in. Oh, right, OK. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were in there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you can go and have a... Have a Don't try going there yet, though, because the road's shut. Yeah. So you can't get to it from the Waitrose. Well, yeah, you can't get to it from the Waitrose end. No. You have to come all the way to the Long Marsden end and yeah, go down. And then it. you're panicking the whole time because the sign's going, road closed, road closed, road closed. But you still get to the garden centre, but don't try and come from the Stratford end because it's shut. Ah, oh, so you'll have to pop in and see me one day. Yeah. yeah so what days do you do? Well, it, you, you just have to do one day, uh, one day a month. Oh, so it's random. Yeah, I'm supposed to be back in on the 3rd, but then I remembered that I was here, so I swapped my day. Oh, so that wouldn't have gone down very well, would it? Uh, the graphics now in for Bella, which is pink. Single figures of the pink one. Single figures of Bella left now. And we're so only quarter past the hour. So I've pinned my pinned one side first. Yeah. So don't try and do both both sides. Just do one side at a time. Take your time. Otherwise, you're going to be stabbing yourself with a load yeah. of pins. So I've already marked on there through the forehead piece, that gap, I'm not going to sew that. Right. But when you sew all the way around, when you stop there, reverse stitch, and then start again that way, and the, that way your stitches are not going to come undone. I'd be tempted, this is just me because I'd forget, mm. I'd be tempted to start at the gap yeah. and work my way to that end. And then start and the then other way. And then stop completely, go to the other side of the gap. Yeah. Uh, because I know what I'm like, because once I'm going around just that bend, I just carry on going. That's, the that's exactly the same as me, actually, and you end up on picking everything. Yeah. Or you put two pins in, thinking I'll remember <laughs> to stop there. That's my hair grip, and um, and uh, you don't. You think, oh, why the two pins? Then you carry on sewing. And I don't sew over pins. Uh, I know some people do, but I don't. Do you sew over pins? I did when I first started many, 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 many years ago, but don't anymore. But I noticed on Saturday, Mark does. Mark Francis does. Oh, does he? Yeah, with no qualms about it. He just goes for it. Yeah. See, so I'll. Uh Margaret, the 550 does not have the automatic thread cutter on it. That's on the 560 and the 570. Christine, 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 they're at the bottom. Scroll down all of the products page and the rabbit. Are they still at the bottom, the rabbits? Christ on today's show deals, right, you need to go right to the bottom and they're there. Oh, that's what? Yeah. Stop selling, stop selling for one second a minute, Duffy, oh. cause, only because only I don't want them to miss any sewing. That's okay. All. Right, so what you need to do is go to the website. Go to, here we go, then go to what's, Watch Live. Scroll down the page. These are today's show deals. You're not going to Early Bird anymore, you're going to today's show deals. And there they are. There, oh, there's only two. Oh, because one's live, because one's live. So you either click on the bobby. No, which one's up there, first of all? Bobby, yeah. Bobby's at the top there, Christine. Scroll down for Betty and Bella. But Bella is about to sell out, so please be quick. Right, sorry, you can carry on. That's OK. I just don't want people to miss the sewing, that's all. So, so I'll just go on to... I've just left that little gap. I'm just taking that pin out now. Oh, she's got it. She's got Bella. She's got Bella. And then all the way down to the neck. There we go. And then, as you can see, I've just left that little gap open there. Yeah. Just trim off any bits of thread. And then I'll just do the exact same on the other side. When you're toy making, because mm -hmm. when, when I do dressmaking, you iron as you go along. You don't... So don't press with toy making. Uh, yeah, when I when we come to the the ears and the um, the legs, I do just give them a little breast just to yeah. to flatten them out. I just but think but, the no. other, but they're, they're not stuffed, are they? No. So you so because I wouldn't I wouldn't press the face or the no. part of the body because when no. you start shoving your stuffing in, that's what makes it. Yeah, exactly. Nice and but I would like you say the ears have got a lovely crisp edge to them, yeah. so I would kind of press those. So. Um, and I think once you've been playing, like you say, if your little little kids have been playing with it or whatever, after a while they've been used so much it doesn't really matter, does no, it? No, of course not, no. So I'm now just going on pinning the other side. There we go. Remember to mark where you're going to put your ears, otherwise you'll be unpicking that. That's those, is that those two little lines? Two is little lines, yeah. yeah. 
and take your time as you go around trying to meet the lines because they are the exact same size. My uh, husband is um, very good with numbers. He's an engineer and oh, he okay. engineered the life out of this bunny. <laughs> 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 yeah, bless him. I don't think people realise how difficult drawing a pattern actually is. It is, yeah, it is difficult. Um, I enjoy I enjoy doing the design phase. Oh things, yeah, but it, yes, but yes. it is when when you, you the amount of times you can come up make up little uh, you know and it just could be out by just a couple mm. of um, just a couple of mil and you have it's right back to the drawing board, yeah. isn't it? But luckily, I've got a very clever husband who. Um, and you're very clever too. Uh, put yourself down. Oh, we're a good team. Yeah. We're a good team. Um, Does he get paid half your wages then? <laughs> no. <laughs> So that's why you were he can give me half of his if he wants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's at work today, so I don't think he's watching. This oh, morning. okay. He might have on in the office. He's uh, oh, it's really quiet in his office. Oh, is it? Really, really quiet. Yeah. I no don't know more. how people work in those offices no. where it's a big office and nobody talks. I know, because even when I'm at home and I'm sewing, I've always got a podcast on or or um, the radio on. All the kids are running around. Yeah. Um, Anne says, I'm so excited I bought all three for my three great-grandchildren. Oh, oh, how lovely. It's a lovely present, though, isn't it? Especially well, yeah, and affordable. Coming. I mean, a, a bear that size, a rabbit that size, you wouldn't be able to buy that in the no, shop. No, exactly. Well, you could, but you'd have to pay an awful lot more yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, it's the cat saying you could personalise them. If you make them for great-grandchildren, you could embroider names. Oh, actually, oh, they, but they've, got, they've actually got their names because you've got labels on here. But you don't, you don't have to call them uh, Betty, Bobby and Bella, do you, if you don't want to? No. They could be named after your three grandchildren or something. And there's those little labels as well. I think on the back of Bella, I haven't put it on Bobby, but on the back of Bella, there's a little label included in the panel where you can write, Handmade with Love by, say, Grandma. I'll just hold that one up for you and let Elliot come. Oh, how, how do you want it, Elliot? Shall I lay it down? I'll lay her flat. She looks a little bit sad like that. I'll just lay her flat so you can see her bottom. Oh, you take a direction on your own in there? In your own time, then. If it's upside down, I have to turn it around. Sorry. There we there go. go. So you get a label with the name, but you also get a label saying handmade by. It doesn't. Yours won't say Delphine on it. You can put your own name on there. Okay. And then all I do is turn it the right way round. And all the only I will turn it back the other way. But the one time, the reason why I do this is just to make sure that you've caught all those seams. Yeah. Which I'm so far, I'm quite. Pleased Happy about that. There you go. The nose has come to a nice sharp point. Perfect. There we go. So that's the start of your wrap. Oh, I've got a message for you, Del Delphine. Susan says, John, can you ask Delphine if she'll bring out a book of her patterns? I'd love to. It's your next project. I'd love to. Yeah, one day, hopefully. Uh, and then Christine says, would you recommend a light or medium weight interfacing Delphine? I've used uh, a light uh, only because that's, uh, that's all I all I had at the time. But I would actually prefer the medium. I was going to say we've we've, yeah. uh, we've got the medium today. She's got the rest of the message. Um, I have loads that feels like a crafting interfacing, but think it will be too stiff. Yeah, this is the, the medium weight is yeah. the one that's on here at the moment. The um, I pref whenever I make um, toys, I usually use a medium weight. Yeah, definitely. And Naomi says, does anyone know the American name for calico? Yes, it's muslin. They call cal That's where it gets very complicated, because obviously we have muslin, which is completely different, but they call it muslin in America. Right, so what are you doing next? OK, then? so this bit's really easy. This is, you haven't got to think too much about this bit. Good. So with the, with the legs, ears and the arms, again, on the pattern pieces, you will find a couple of little lines on the leg here. Right and here. on the arms. On, on the, uh, I can show you here because I've got the leg one here right yeah. in front of me. So again, on the reverse side, just put a little mark with a pencil where that gap is. So as you see, I've now put a back, done two little marks on the right. leg. So the reason you need to do that is because, again, you're going to leave that bit open. Right. You're gonna, uh, that's going to be open for stuffing and turning and the top as well. OK, because it actually says on the... On the um, P panel pa here, leave open, leave open. Leave open yeah. Yeah. So you've done it on the arm, both the arms and, and both the legs. The legs yeah. yeah. So I'm now going to sew the legs together, leaving the top and that gap open. Because uh -huh. the one thing I've, because you can make the toys where you stuff it all in one. 
but with, with the with this just to make it easier and uh, everybody especially if it's your first time making them it's easier to just stuff the legs and the arms separately also i quite like it when you do that because you have this kind of joint if you stuffed it all in one go this would be all solid as well whereas yeah. i quite like the fact that you've yeah. got you have the swinging legs like that right i've got some news so bella has sold out if everybody who's got betty in their basket the green one that will have sold out but you haven't all checked out yet so there's still some of those available and bobby my favorite one just over half the stock's got of the blue one. Isn't that Bob. funny? I love the blue but one. Bobby was my favourite as well, because I really like the mustard Yes, colours. yeah. How strange. I mean, personal choices. It can't all be the same, can we? But it'll be boring if we're all the same, won't we? So you're stitching all the way around the All the, the way leg, around. But leaving that gap for the yeah. stuffing, and you've left, left the top open. Yes. Yeah, perfect. So, and then again... If I turn that round, just have a little check to make sure that you've caught all the seams because you want your stitch length to be very small as well. Right. Um, when you say very small, what size are you? I, oh, well, to be fair, I've just turned the machine on. Oh, and no, no, in real it. life, not, not here. In real yeah, life. yeah. So, uh, and also when you turn it around the other way, uh, you can't see with my stitches, so I have used a, a light thread. Yeah. But say if you did, didn't catch it all and you did miss a bit, just go back in and just so. So say if, I can draw on this one. Yeah, go on then. So say that's my stitch line yeah. there. And say I was too close to the edge yeah. and I missed it. Don't worry about it. Just start just slightly in from where you would know you're quite happy and then go back over. Don't unpick it. Just go over it a couple of times. Yeah. As long as you keep it nice and smooth. You see that at home, that's fine. That's yeah. right. Um, and also, it, it, it's a bit different to dress make, isn't it? Because if you're doing a dress it's being made to fit somebody, yeah. whereas this, it doesn't matter if it's no. slightly, slightly off, does it? So I'm going to turn it out the right side out. The easiest way to do this is through the, that gap that I said, leave open, not yeah. the top bit. <gasps> We've got the perfect turny tools. They're not there now. They've been there for the last few days. We've got oh, this fantastic no. turny tool thing, but it looks easy enough as it is. But um. Now, you do this with the um, ears and the arms. Now, with the ears, I've even written it in the instructions, actually. Yeah. It, Take your time. You're going to feel like it's not going to turn, but it will turn out. But you've just got to be patient. Is that why you've already turned them through? Oh, you haven't. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, morning, John and Delphine. Can you wish my daughter Emma a happy 40th birthday? She's a big fan and watches Sewing Street all the time. That's from Jane. So happy birthday, Emma. Happy 40. birthday. I was 40 this summer as well, Emma. I bet you're real 40, though, aren't you? Not telly 40. I'm nearly 40. <gasps> you're going to have a big party. Oh, you might no. not. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> have you moved moving hopefully next friday <gasps> fingers crossed um that was the way we left it yesterday oh. we're just chasing up all the searches about mortgage offers on the table that's all done but it's just a few little inquiries but we've started packing up now oh. so we've broke the back of it we've uh, packed up the whole of upstairs uh so what, the yeah. kids beds and everything well no i don't want to i haven't done the uh, the boys rooms an awful lot but only because louis he's only five i think he's just it'll unsettle it'll be yeah he is he, it will unsettle him so i'll do his room when last. i was little uh, my dad was in the rf and we moved every two years oh. and it's you don't realize at the time but it is actually quite unsettling as a child i quite yeah. love it now but you know as a child it's kind of like you've just settled you've just yeah. you're not that you're moving very far you're only going down the road <laughs> literally you? around the corner yeah. yeah but even so it's still a little bit unsettling for them. no i can't wait to move it's going to be um yeah I, i'm just looking forward to i was saying just getting my sewing room yeah no Aww. more sewing next to the cooker <laughs> so i've turned that out the right side uh, imagine i've done that with both legs and the arms as well right so that's all done. You're only leaving those gaps open. So there's yeah. also the, uh, the, uh, the gaps at the back of the arms as well. I think it's really sweet. They've got like a little thumb. Yeah. <laughs> they come thumbs up as well. Yeah. So there you are. So I'll just pop those to the side. And you'll do the same with the ears. So now which bit did you think was going to be diff? Oh, because you're taking a wide ear for a is, very narrow gap. But it w they will turn. I promise yeah. you that they will turn. You've just got to be patient. So do it. So push it out a little bit. Feed it through with your fingers. Push again. Feed it through. Just take your time. So with the ears, yeah. uh, you can, if you wish, use to make them a little bit more padded. Oh. With, if you want to. No, I, I love that. I, that's what I meant. I yeah. think that's what really makes it is the big floppy, floppy non. Because if there was stuff, would they do that? They, uh, no, no, they will be a bit bigger though. Yeah. If you, so if you want to, 
When you sew the two pieces right side together, you can use a little bit of wadding underneath and then turn it round the right side. But wadding, not, not the stuffing then? Not the, the stuffing, no. with a bit of wadding. Oh, okay. so oh, yeah, so you're just making it squidgy. You're not yeah. actually stuffing, stuffing them, them full. No, it, no. If you did stuff them full, they'd end up like that, wouldn't they? <laughs> Which you might want. <laughs> you might want to, yeah. but it would look a bit odd. Oh, no, I think they look gorgeous. Yeah. I think that's their part of their lovely yeah. character. Is They're nice and, nice and floppy yeah. ears. Right. So, right. So it does say on the um, the pattern that one of them, the, the ears is the inner, one's the outer. You right. can do whatever you want. So oh, they're, they're exactly the same. Yeah. So if you want, um, so obviously one's cream and the, well, this one's green. Yeah. So if I wanted the, um, the colour bit at the front, which I did with Bobby. Yeah then you need to pinch, you need to fold it in half this way. Right, so I'll just show you the difference of the actual rabbits here. So yeah. this one, Bobby, has got white cream ears on the outside and blue on the inside. Uh -huh. And then Bella has got pink on the outside and the cream on the inside. So you're doing now... I think I'll do it with the green on the inside. Inside, so same as Bobby then, yeah. right? Okay. So I'll just turn the head... Bobby's now the only one available, the other two are sold out. Turn it back round. I said, I'm, Bobby was my favourite. I know, he's my, he's my favourite yeah. too. So, fold the ear in half. Now, this is important just to make sure that you're sewing the ears on the right way. Right. So you've got your rabbit's head there. Still inside out. Still inside out. And with those gaps that you left open, you will just pull through the top. Perfect. So it sticks out a little bit there. And that inner bit, the, the colour that you want on the outside, is facing that way. So you can see that? I think he's done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So have, uh, will you pull it through further than the seam allowance? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> no, yes. No, no, no question. Yes. Yeah. Only just to make sure you've definitely got to, you haven't got to keep going back and unpicking. And then you just sew that gap closed. Yeah. I'd be tempted to go backwards and forwards, backwards and yeah. forwards, backwards and forwards over those. Because, again, if you're going to be gifting it to a, a child, they're going to be pulling on those ears a lot, won't they? So. Well, yeah, because yeah. if you think a child is going to do this, no, yeah, it's a little bit. It will, that, that, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's the first thing that Louis did when he picked one up. Oh, there you go. My little Lou, so. And then I'll do the same with the other ear. So have they got all the prototypes at home then? <laughs> I gave my uh, prototype to my best friend's little girl, oh. Iris. She said she loves it. It's on her bed and it was. she even sent me a photograph. She had it on her, uh, even had to come to breakfast with her. Oh. Bless her. She's a sweetheart. What colour she got? Was it, was it none of these It colours? was none of those. It was just, uh, just using what I had in my stash. Oh, okay. Um, but it was good because it gave the idea for, for the artwork for Tom, so... Um, Push that through. Tom's our graphic designer, by the way, or one of our graphic designers who takes the designer's, I don't want to say basic, idea mm -hmm. and, and creates it into a panel for us. So there we are, and I'll just sew that one closed now. So again, reverse stitch over the top. There we are. So the head's nearly finished. So I'm not going to cut that off, actually. I'll leave it. It's all inside, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, those two darts, sew those closed right side. Oh, so you don't do the darts until now, then? Yeah, only because you need the room just to... To put to the ears in, of course. Yeah. yeah. So I'll sew those closed now. Jackie says, morning, Delphine. I love the bunnies. Morning. I love making soft toys for my granddaughters. Oh. Yeah, they're, uh, this one's quite a nice, easy pattern to make as yeah. well. There we go. Now, the dart on the back of the forehead, yeah. it is in the instructions, don't sew that yet. <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't sew that until the very end. That's the last thing you sew. Oh, now be careful, because you might... This is why it's important to read the instructions, because I hadn't noticed that, because the, the um, Bob... Um, which one have we got here? Betty... Because it's a white floral on a white background, you wouldn't actually notice that there's a dart in there. But I, again, I have sewn in the instructions about um, folding it in half and yeah. giving it a little yeah. nip. Oh, no, no, that's why it's yeah. important to read the yeah. instructions. Because yeah. if yeah. I would, what I do, as I get home, go, oh, I know how to make this. That's I exactly what I do. Know. And then I'd be like, why isn't this ear, why isn't this forehead fitting properly? It's because I wouldn't have read about the dart. And then the you're like, no. Yes. And then it's too late then, isn't it? So there we are. Oh. 
Oh, she pretty. She's also sold out. <laughs> so the the pink the pink one, the green one, completely sold out. Blue Hello. one, few left. There she is. So she's there. There's her head. Oh. Turned right sides out. Give it a quick check. Make sure you're happy with all your stitching, because when you've sewn it yes, on, exactly. there's no going back. So there we are. I'm going to put her head to one, one side. side. Okay, then we're going to move on to her body. Right. So two front body pieces. Again, there is those little marks on the body piece. Just give those, just turn it over the other way and just mark where Okay, so now you've got three marks on yep. the front body. All that is, is for the placement of the arms and legs. Oh, okay. That's all it's for, really. Yeah. Okay, and that one there. Okay. Now you're going to put the f two front body pieces right sides together and you're going to sew from that top corner there all the way down to the bottom and that's going to create her belly or his belly yeah, that one's called Betty I don't know if any boys call Betty <laughs> there we are and then that's the front piece done there we are so I'll put that to the side and then I need the back pieces. So yeah, what you said earlier on, John, make sure you write on the back yes, or Yes, because you pin. can easily get those muddled up. So <coughs> yeah. So again, I'm going to turn these over, put the little mark on. There is two. I'm just going to do the one. So like Sue says, hello, Delphine. I'm loving the rabbit. So cute. Really looking forward to making Bella. She will be sat in my sewing room watching me sew. Oh, so having it for lovely. herself. Lovely. That's nice. That's Sue. So make sure you send some pictures. Oh, please. yeah. Put them all on the fan page. Put them all on the fan page for everyone to look at. The back, back piece, right sides together. You're only going to sew from there to the bottom. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me have a look. Where? So the two back pieces. Yeah. Right sides together. Where that little mark is yeah. on the front, you're going to sew from here only to the bottom. Oh, wow, okay. So only Again, it's why bit. it's important to read the instructions, isn't it? Because you'd think, oh, I'll just whiz all the way up here with the back. Because this is what you'll need to leave open to stuff it, stuff it with. And Jane says, morning, John and Delphine. Morning. Loving the show, as always. Hubby actually watches as well and now understands more of the sewing. Oh, Jane, you'll have to get him to send him some of his makes. There we go, and then that's the back piece. There we okay. go. So now we're going to start putting putting it all together. So I've got threads that's everywhere. That's right, Elliot's got the hoover out for later. <laughs> he did oh. hoover this morning and he washed the table. Very, very thorough, Elliot. All the tables, everything was desanitized in the whole studio and everything. Or sanitized. So now take your arms and your leg pieces. Right. And you're going to turn so those two seams meet. The two, the way you've sewn. Right. And all you're going to do is sew that shut. Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Can you see it? Because you've still got the hole open for stuffing halfway yeah. down the arm. So you won't see these stitches because they'll be in the seam allowance. So I'm yeah. just going to go and do that to both arms, both legs. Christine, yes, you can, as long as you don't start selling by the thousand in John Lewis's or Debenhams or anywhere like that. Teresa, hello John and Delphine. I've made 10 lunar rabbits and now I've bought Bella. I can't wait for her to arrive. Aww. Loving the show. And that's Terry from Uckfield. Hello, Terry. Delphine, I love your demos, says Aww. Lorraine. That's very kind. There we go. Oh. oh. So a chain of legs and arms. So again, I haven't worried too much about backstitching those because no. you, you, they'll be hidden in the box set anyway. Okay, so front piece, let's do the arms first. Those two little marks that are on the back that for your pattern placement. Now you want to make sure that the backs of the arms are going to be at the back of the bunny because you don't want to see them. So what you'll do is use the marks there and just pop a pin in it. Mm -hmm. So the thumbs are facing down. And then where's the other arm? Here. And again, so you want to make sure that that opening is at the back. And I'll put a pin in there. Now, I do this on, on the machine. You can do it by hand. But you just want to make sure that you sew as close to the, the body piece as possible. All that's going to do is 
work like a pin. So when you put it all together, so you're just basing it into place. Yeah, yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, John. Thank you. Or tacking in That's the old That's it, days. tacking. I think I've put tacking. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're all right. Yeah. Oh. I did it. I did it. <laughs> is it because you cut your thread too I short? I think you're right. That's exactly all I've done is cut it a bit too short. Oh, you're like me. Look, that's got a needle thread up. I'd much happier threading a needle. Yeah. Just... There we go. And we're back in business. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, I've dropped me arm now. There so you go. don't you don't stuff any of it then? No. Until right at the end. Right at the end. I'll, I'll go and do the other arm. I'll get rid of these threads in a moment. <laughs> There's threads everywhere today. So right to the, as close as you can to the edge. There we are. Oh, let me just tidy up. So Elliot's saying, why aren't you doing any backstitching? And we did just cover that, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, because you're not going to see those. You're not going to see it. And also, it's all going to be inside. It'll when be you sew good. it all together, it's all going to be, they're going to be encased inside seams. Elliot's just learning, everybody, so. There we are. So there's the arm sewn on. Yeah. The legs. Now, this is important because otherwise you don't want the legs to be facing behind. Oh, no. <laughs> otherwise you won't be very happy. So have a look at where you be putting your legs. So let me just get that in the shot there. So there's the foot facing upwards. Right. So what you want to do is turn it over, that bottom corner in line with that mark, and do exactly the same as what you did with the arm. So, oh, right. So you're lining up the corner of the leg with the mark. The mark yeah. doesn't go in the middle of the leg. No. So just on the corner. And then... And then give that a trim. Oh, I didn't quite do it there, did I? Oh. Let's go back in on the side. Who's that from? Oh, no. Oh, I haven't got I haven't got that one on mine. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Bobbin. Oh, cat. Oh, sorry. Oh, found one. I've changed its colour completely. <laughs> um, I haven't got that message from Sue. What does it say? Such a calming, relaxing demo whilst I'm sewing. I like Delphine's demos. They're very calm. Oh, they always look doable for people like me. Isn't that funny? My messages have just stopped. The last one I've got is from Lorraine saying, Delphine, love your demos, love the bunnies. Oh, Christine says, we've got next week planned because it's half term. Oh, yeah. I'll be so busy making my bunny. And my Highland Cow T-shirt in K Facet Fabric. Was that a project that I've missed out on somewhere? Okay. Oh, that's one of yours, is it? Yeah, the Highland Cow. Oh, he's going to do it on a T-shirt. That'd yeah. be really cool. Well, I wonder why the messages have stopped then. I'm working on the next... Um, it's not a cow. I can't... Can't say what it is. Can't say what it is, but I have got a couple more I've ideas. seen it. Is it one? Yeah, behind... Down oh, there. Oh, it's down there. So I knew I'd seen one this morning. Oh. You can't see it at home. It's at the bottom of the table. These threads are sticking to me like glue today. OK, so... Right. There we are. It's starting to look like a rabbit. Well, yeah. Yeah. So now what you're going to do is get that back piece. So cross the legs, get all of this out of the way. Is that all the, all the limbs go into the centre? Yeah. Now take your back piece. Yeah. Where its bottom is. Right. And line up those two seams. Put, ow. Oh. <laughs> put, and put a pin in it there. Right. And then just like you did with the... Um, with the, the forehead and the neck, the the side, the forehead and the side of the head. Yeah. Uh, pin at the top as well, and then pin it all together, all down the one side. Make sure that you're encasing those uh, arms and the legs. Yeah. And uh, I think we need to go through those pins, don't we? Take the blunt ones out. Yeah. You know, yeah, because I need to go through mine at home actually, because, like you say, when you're doing things like this, you're trying to force one in, and you're like, no, nope, yeah. that one's. 
Oh, wait till you moved into your own room and have all new ones. Oh, I am. I'm tr yeah, anything, any, 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 every penny that I get at the moment, I'm saving towards my sewing room. Oh. Yeah, so I'm very excited. And a message from Sue. Oh, hey, today's log today. <coughs> it's on the screen there. Morning, all. Delphine's demos are really easy to follow. I can't wait to get Bella and start from Sue in Tamworth. Vicky, Vicky's from Tamworth, isn't she? There we are. Right. That's pinned. I'm going to sew along, all along that one side, and then I'll repeat it on the other side. Okay, perfect. Okay, now... Make sure that you do quite a few reverse stitches there because that next Elliot. seam needs to be a really strong seam because that's where you'll be putting the head to the neck. Okay. I've now got a message from Simon saying, great show, you lovely people, and great shirt job. Thank you, Simon. Isn't that weird that none of the others came through, but just one from Simon's just come through then. It is a lovely shirt. It's the first thing I said to you this morning yeah, when I saw you. that. Really nice shirt. Before you're like, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. Nice traffic. shirt. <laughs> I should have moved that pot of pins away. What, what? I should have moved those there. I'm not making work life easy for myself here. There we go. And all the way down to that bottom seam. And then so you've only pinned one side? I mean, it's only one yeah, only because it just makes it a little bit easier. Oh, yes, because everything will be getting caught on. The, if your pin's running up the other side... I'm all about the ease of doing things. Yeah. And then you, also you can just quickly check that leg's in, that arm's in. Yeah. And now I'll just repeat it on the other side. Okay. Keeping those arms and legs well out of the way. So pin at the bottom. Pin at the top. And then pin the rest. So the arms and legs will be hanging out the back of the bunny at the moment. There we go. Obviously you'll be at home, you'll take your take your time. Yeah. I want to try and show you. Yeah, yeah. So you've only through. got your fifty minutes or forty-five minutes to show. When you're doing it at home, it won't take too long at home, will it? But you can enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. Also, I think it's one of those projects. You know, some people start a quilt and it'll be ready in a year's time. Some mm. people start a dress and be ready by the end of the season. This is something you start in the morning and have it finished in the afternoon if you wanted yeah, to, couldn't you? Definitely. Yeah, it takes a, f a couple of hours. There we go. And it's saying it'd be a nice project to do with a youngster if mm. they're just learning to sew. Yeah. Things, yeah. yeah, making their own toy. Yeah. That's nice. So if you are, I, I purposely haven't used craft eyes or buttons or anything. I have you only used thread uh, in the pattern. So there's no extra bits. So if, so if you are going to use extra bits and giving it to a child, then just be just bear that. Oh, you mean like eyes and things like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, because if, if you've got the black uh, toy eyes, we always say don't give it to a child under three. And mm. like that. so that's We've got black embroidery thread, which we'll come to in a second, to do our eyes and mouth. Really done. Right, we're down to 15 of Bobby left, and that's it now. So Bella and Betty completely sold out. We've got 15 of Bobby, and that's at... What's it? Ten forty-seven in the morning. A busy morning. Ah. Huh? Busy morning. Busy morning. Okay. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So again, you'll turn it the right way around. Just have a quick look. Yeah, that's fine. So now it will look like <laughs> 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 there's arms and legs everywhere. Look. Okay. So it'll look like that. Right. The flame. <laughs> well presented. <laughs> <Delphine>. <laughs> <laughs> so what you'll do now is just get leave those out of the way so you've got that neck open there. Right. And just get rid of that thread. Now you're going to take the head, which is already turned out the right way. Right. And what you want to do is line up that n middle seam where the point meets the nose, that right. one underneath here, in the centre of that front piece here. Okay. So that's where you want to sew. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stuff the head in. And the first pin I'll do is when I'm 
certain that I've lined it up with the centre of the, the tummy piece, I'll put a pin in it. And then just like you do with the what I've done with the, um, the side of the head and the forehead piece, then you'll line it up with the back bit. So this right. is probably the only fiddly bit, but if you just take your time, use lots of pins, it will all come together. And again, I'm going to do one side first and then the other, only because it's quite a small gap yeah. and you don't want to stab yourself with any pins. There we are. Can you see that okay? Yeah. So I'm going to sew along that first line to the, so that will be from the back forehead, back head piece to the point of the nose. Okay. Jackie said she was going to teach her eight year old granddaughter during half term how to start using a sewing machine. However, they are now in tier three and can't meet up. Oh, oh Jackie. No. Oh, that's a shame. Now, so how to use a sewing machine, Elliot? So take your time on this bit. Yeah. You've done all that sewing. You don't want to get to this bit and make a mistake. If you prefer, if you're not very confident, you can always do this bit by hand. What, uh, would you tack it by hand and then yeah. machine it? Yeah. yeah. But then, if you're going to stick a ribbon round it, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so then I'm going to do the other side now. So I'll just pin. Ooh. Oh, you're magnetic. I know. My hands are all sticky. There you go. And. Oh, no, not that one. Nice and sharp, these pins. Yeah. Especially the ones Ooh. that are facing upwards that are going into your finger the whole I time. I know, but I can't see properly. There we go. So now I'm going to go from the middle all the way to the end, and then that should be the head on. I need that pin out of the way. So again, make sure that it's a nice, strong um, start and finish. Oh, right, there are nine blue ones left, nine bobbies left, but 15 of you've got it in your basket. So, just saying. Okay, so I've sewn all the way around. Now, push the head through. So your bunny will now look, not very well. Yes. <laughs> look like that. Right. There's your bunny. And its arms and legs are hanging out the back. Yeah. Now we're going to sew that one last seam, that back dart where the head of the forehead. Yes. You're going to sew only halfway down the back. Right. So you'll, this is the last seam you'll sew using the machine. And there's marks on the pattern where there's you sew down There's marks on the pattern. To. But if you've got really big hands, just make put that mark a little bit higher. Yeah. So you want to make sure that that... Um, the seam where the neck, the bop, sorry, the base of the uh, the head meets the back body. You want those two to meet. Yeah. And then you're going to sew that closed, not completely closed, because you remember you want that gap, because that's what you need for stuffing. Yeah. Again, bigger hands, leave it. Um, leave a bigger gap. Cat, do we sell the? Um, you know, they're they're called needle grippers, but they can also use them to stuff stuffing into toys. Okay, easy grip. Okay. Oh, okay. It's by made by easy. It's like a, it's like um the things that doctors use to do when they do do the hema hema something hema stats, yeah. And they're really good if you've got fat fingers like me for when you're stuffing a toy like this. You can get the main bit, and when you're going down the fingers and the or the arms and the legs, you can just put the the, the stuffing in evenly. That's it. There we go. I'm happy with that. Ooh. Oh, now my um, iPad's gone completely black now. It's lost its screen and everything, I'm afraid. So I'm now going to turn Betty all the way out. 
couple of ears. There we go. Yeah. Skinny Betty. No Skinny Betty. Thing. So I'll hopefully... Oh, mm. Don't worry, you can carry on. If we go over it, a little bit over it, it doesn't matter. Oh, OK. Yeah, as you're only here for an hour. <laughs> and there's your bunny. Oh. oh. She still just looks a bit poorly. We yeah, need to give her a bit. bit of life, don't we? Right then, let's... So you get your stuffing. So again, just have another quick check. Make sure you're happy with the seams. And do you, will you use the whole of this bag? Yes. Yeah, definitely. So I like to... Uh, again, it's like when I make cushions, though. I like them to be really firm. So again, with the toys. But I've also made the arms and legs a little bit looser because I like the floppy look. Yes, yeah. But also, as time goes on... The stuffing get if you make it soft and squidgy to start with, after a little while, they're going to look a bit kind of. They look a bit sad. Yeah. yeah. So to stuff, always go to the the, the pointy part of the nose first. Right. Because you really want to pack that in because that or to give it the um, to give it a face. So you start with the head. You don't do any other bits. You start with. No, the head. I start with the head. Yeah. So I might steal your bag because I've only got a tiny bit oh, left in this an open one. one. Yes, you wait there, I've got an open one over here I can get for you. I think I use one open one. Oh, lovely. Catch. Is that enough? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that should be, that should be. Yeah. But I said I should have I'm brought a full... determined you're not going to open this one. <laughs> I should have brought a full bag in. But I can always do the legs at home. Yeah. I, will, I will finish her so she can come back. Yeah. So do it in bits. Don't keep trying to whack loads in there because yeah. it will just just get jammed. So it's best to, and then use your fingers and really push it right into the that point. So I've not made any clothes for or anything, but you could do make little outfits or. We had <laughs> fabric in the first hour that we were saying, oh, you can make little shorts out of this for Aww. them, or little tops or little dresses for them. I'd like to see Bobby in a little waistcoat with All a right couple then. of little buttons. Little Paul wears waistcoats. You know Little Paul, don't you? Yeah. He wears waistcoats when he goes out. Or blazers with I've seen I've seen some photos on his Instagram when he goes out. Oh, He's very honoured if you're allowed to be on his Instagram. Oh, I followed him. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, he blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> but he does. He wears really posh outfits. Yeah. Yeah. OK. So... You can have a feel around, make sure, like I said, you really want to jam it in. Yeah. And then you can have a little... Ah, oh, she's looking pretty. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but it's gone a bit ruffly there. Right. So that needs to, it needs more stuff in. Right. So you're really, really packing it. Don't be frightened about... Keep to, if it looks awful, you can always take it out again and re-put it back in. But yeah. if, if you have got space, it needs filling, basically. So, only because you want that face to be really smooth. Yeah. Now, Kat was saying that she she put pellets in the bottom first to make it weightier. Yes. It'll become, yeah. a, it'll become a what, you know, because if it's got weight in it, you could be like, be like a cosh, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see, I you see, Kat's saying she's put <laughs> some in their feet as well. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's because she's used to living at home. <laughs> you used to hit Joe with it, did you, Kat? Jeremy Joe, yeah. <laughs> OK, so I'll do the body now. So I've done the head. I'm yeah. happy with that. I'm just going to... Put some in the body, and then I'll show you how to do the nose. Yeah, I was going to say, because there's extra bits, aren't there, the face? Yeah, the face. and you've got three different noses to choose from. Oh, yes. Oh. So, spoiling you, you've got lots. you got to in the blue one, because that's the only one we've got left. Well, we've got left, I say, there's more people got it in their basket. We've got stuff, you can have a yellow nose, a blue nose, or a black nose. Oh, would you? The cat would do yellow like you've done. I was in the blue or the black, Elliot. Yes, I think I might go black nose as well. On this one. So I've nearly done it now. Mm -hmm. Or I'd go yellow 
and I do black blanket stitch yeah. round the outside of the nose. Yeah, make it give it that real patchwork. Yes. Look. Yeah. yeah, that would look nice. Right, it's nearly. Oh. Oh. What was that in there? I don't know. It's, oh, it's a bit of tulip pink, isn't oh, very it? Very nice. Lovely. Oh, yeah. well, I'll have that. <laughs> now yours won't come with tulip pink. There's no surprise <laughs> in yours. Oh, I noticed that you you were a bit cross at me for nicking the barley pot. Yes. <laughs> have you brought them back? I'm making something with it. As a demo. I wasn't cross. I was just pointing out every time I show them. I'll just shut that in there. In fact, somebody actually sent a message yesterday going, has Delphi brought back what she stole yet? And I was like, she hasn't stolen anything. It's not stolen. Uh, I did get permission. I got permission. I haven't stolen it. OK, so I have, I have actually run out there. But um, okay, yeah. um, you wouldn't need an awful lot more than that anyway. But it's just to make the neck a little bit firmer. Yeah. So imagine it's all stuffed. Right. So, and the arms and the legs. Yeah. I will finish this before I go home, so if, if they're allowed to put it up tomorrow, they can yeah. be in well, the... Before you go home, it can be done. I can have it on the shelf by 12. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That's my challenge. No, you've got a house to pack up. It's fine. Oh. Talk to me, talk to me, though, because we went there. Right. Talk to me about the nose and the face. So I can do that really quick. Yeah. So you'll cut out the nose of your choice. Uh, I haven't got any... This just shows my next felting kit, the, what colours you're going to be using. So I've only got a navy blue. So right, we've got black. You can buy black. But you can use it. If you might already have this home, it doesn't, doesn't come in the kit, but you can put whatever colour you want if you wanted to, you, if you've got some embroidery thread at home. And you could just use normal machine thread, I suppose. What, for the, for the face? Yeah, you could do. It wouldn't... Use embroidery thread. Embroidery, yeah. Just trying to be... Yeah, yeah. Right. Have I done a knot? No. Yeah. So you'll get your uh, thread... Sew a knot at the bottom. You'll do this obviously, but to do the mouth, you'll need to do this before you sew the nose on. Because the nose is going to cover up any. Oh, yes, I'll just put that in shot stitches. there so I can see. So I've got my needle and thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in at the point of the okay, nose. Okay, watch this, it's more important than it. So I'm going to go in at the nose there. Yeah. And pull all the way through. Put it nice and tight. Now I might just do another one just to make sure it's definitely not. Have going you to go anyway. have you pulled it? Has the knot gone inside? Or is it not on the outside? No, it's just on the outside. Right, but you right. won't see that once you put the nose. No, no, because some on some soft toys they mm. have you see it? They, they kind of yank it, don't yank they? So it. the knot goes on the inside. Yeah, so one's just on the outside. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. So where that seam is, yeah. the next seam down here, you're going to go in that seam. And then straight away push it out wherever you want this, however big you want the smile to be. So you push it all the way through. Sorry, so we sweat your hands and pull tight like that. And okay. then you go in at the bottom where you came out on that centre seam, and you'll do it again on the other side. Where do you want the smile to be? Just there. And just do a smile. You can do a frown if you want. You can to. do. It wouldn't be very nice giving it a frown, giving it to a child. Real life, darling. <laughs> 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 and then back in to finish off the smile, and then squeeze it all the way up. Sorry, I've used quite a short needle. I needed to use needed a, a longer needle. But also, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to remember this. I'm not going to remember this. If you look at the instructions, which I've got here. And there you go. There's the smile. Look, every stage of the mouth and the eye, the nose and the tail are all here in the, in the instructions. So don't panic if you're thinking, oh, I didn't quite see what she said there. So there you go, there's this, she's got a smile now. And with the eyes again, really, really quick, easy to do. And then what you'll do with the, the, the nose, you just cut the nose off, put it on top, wherever you'd like it to be. I think we've missed off a very important part of their body as well. Oh, the tail. the tail. Yes, yes. Oh, I can quickly show you the yeah, tail Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Well. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So I know we're going over, but it doesn't matter. I think it's more important you see all this sewing. So, one time, I'm not going to get in trouble. You again. won't. I'll take, I'll take responsibility. Okay. So, you'd mark wherever you want your eyes. If you want it to look really cute, I'd go further back. But right. you can choose to have them a little bit closer. To, it's, it's, that's why I didn't put it on, because it's, it's, it's your own choice. Yeah. Yeah, because if you put a frown, you want them done like that, don't you? Yeah. And then, so you just go in with the same knot. Yeah. There we are. And then just do a few little stitches. 
Oh, so it's not a French knot or anything. It's like a satin. You've you, done like a satin stitch. Yeah, I've done a satin stitch. You can do a French knot. But that'd be quite small if you did a French knot. Yeah. It? So if you were going to do the eyes a bit closer to the nose, I'll do a French knot. Yeah. But if you want the eyes to be bigger, I'm just doing a satin stitch instead. Yeah. Because you can choose however what how big you want the eyes to be. Then. Yes. Uh, again, you can use buttons. You can use craft eyes. I tend to use buttons quite a lot yeah. as well. But have you, would you, if you were making it for a certain age of child, would you not do buttons for like a young, very young No, child? no, I'll just do, just sew them. But if, there was, if it was an older, older child like Louis, who's five, I'll do buttons for yeah. him because I know he's not going to bite the buttons off. Uh. But I'd like to think he wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of ladies just go by the messages are, are making them for themselves anyway. So oh. you could get a really beautiful, like, mother of pearl button or something like that. Oh, lovely. Like that, yeah, you? that'd be nice. And, uh, you know, to match some of the colours as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so you'll just do that and you'll do that on both sides. And then I'll show you how to do the tail. Oh, Christine. Christine's looking for the, for the um, code for toy stuffing. At the moment, well... They're, it's all tied up with um, bundles at the moment. We haven't got it. We, we always get it back in, but we haven't got it in at the moment. Keep your eye out, Christine. But you do get a whole bag with each one. So if you've bought more than one, you'll, if you've bought three, you'll get three bags of stuffing. Do you know what I mean? There we go. So that's one eye. And then I'll just repeat it on the same. So imagine I've, done, I've given her two, okay. two eyes. There we are. So, and then I imagine I've also given them in the nose as well. Right then, so tail. Right. Where's that knee? Right. So this is really quick. So hang on. So this nose here, you've just taken it and, and so whipped yeah, it, whip stitched it on. So I d used a whip stitch. Uh, but again, you can use blanket stitch, straight stitch, whatever you like. Yeah. Where did I put my little... Oh, what have you I'll, lost? I'll use a little bit of this. There's his nose. Eventually. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. There it is. Oh. So it's just the nose patch. We've chosen the yellow one here and just stitched around the outside. But now, stay there a little. We're now doing the little tail now. I can do the nose. I'll put you do the nose. Want me to do that? Okay, nose? if you've got time. I've got all the time in the world. I've been, as long as I'm at the school one for three o'clock. Oh, blimey. I mean, you won't be able to go that long because I've got sewing machines to do before. <laughs> I did say jokingly, didn't I? So I should be saying for an extra hour. I didn't realise I was being honest. There's a little quantity of what? The blue one. Okay. There's two available and two in baskets of the blue one. So if you've got the blue one in a basket, please check out because someone else could just very quickly come in and take that from you. Right, what nose should we have? I'll just put these, these. I think we'll have a, I think. You decide. <laughs> She's there going, oh, which one shall I have? I'll have the mustard one. Right. Nice bright colours. So you cut your nose out. Again, if you want to use a little bit of interface, and you could even, as well, put a little bit of stuffing under the nose when yeah. you've nearly finished. And um, Kat saying she would put the little piece on, then she'd embroider a little cross in the middle. Oh, you know, like yeah, that's cute. I could do that. So just place the nose on. I've not put in a pin in it or anything. And then just do a l simple whip stitch. Yeah. Uh, I've also, in the instructions, I think it's on the back page, I have actually done little diagrams of, if you, you know, if you're not sure of what, how to do a whip Oh, stitch yes, yes, a stitched, a whip stitch on the back there. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's right. right. Lads, a stitch and whip stitch, both on the back of the instructions here. They've all sold now. They've all sold out now. Yeah, you've shown the stitch earlier. There we go. Yeah. So there's your whip stitch, there's your ladder stitch. And so you're just whipping around that, and then very quickly, mm -hmm. what's the tail? I'll show you the tail as well. Tail's really easy. Uh, let me just, I've cut that off. I've got a thread that's really annoying me, oh. right in my way. There we are. So I'll do that all the way around. Yeah. Um, I will finish it, obviously not right now, but I will finish it quickly before I go yeah. home. You don't have to do it before you go home, just for the next time you come in. Uh, oh, I'm in Friday, am I? Yeah. Okay, so... The tail, what you'll need, cut it out, you'll need a Is there a, a choice or is just one tail? Just the one tail. Just the one tail. But you could make your own if yeah. you had another. So starting from the inside, so that's obviously the right side. That's the wrong side. Yeah. There we are. So with a knot on the end of your thread, what you're going to do is just do a simple line of running stitches, leaving about a quarter inch. 
and you're just going to keep doing that. Make sure you've got a really good knot on the end of your thread because you don't want it to you do all of this and then it pulls through. So I've done yeah. that a few times. And then so it just gathers it all, all up. And then we'll do it all the way around. There we are, nearly there. So once you've gone around the whole circumference of the tail, you're going to give it a gentle pull. Yeah. Use a l turn it the right way around, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. And that'll do. And then what you'll do is just give it a pull. Is there any, will you put any, is there stuffing? Oh, yeah. 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 So you what you'll do, and then just doing those stitches is kind of pull it and then gather it all up the right way around. You'll put in a little bit of stuff in. Yeah. And just then you have to have a tiny <laughs> bit left. <laughs> and then you'll put it, you put it closed like that. So obviously if I put a load of stuff in there, it would be a nice yeah. firm round tail. And you would hand stitch that onto the back. You'll just hand stitch. So obviously you'd, um, there is a, a, again, diagram about you'd use a, um, Ladder stitch yeah, to that's sew on the, the back, back of up, the page as well. uh, which is a I use that stitch a lot because you it, you can really hide the stitches. Yeah. And then with this, you just sew all the way around, gathering little pieces of the um, a few fibres of the uh, tail, and then back in and out. But I'd go around that about two or three times just to make. Oh sure yeah, because that's what not, like the ears. That's like another place where they're going to be yeah. picked up, isn't it? Brilliant. And then uh, there, there we Fantastic. Go. Thank you ever so much. No so now you're back on Friday. Yes, I'm doing um, some lovely things out of Debbie's. For, of Debbie Shaw's and Block of the Week. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah, they are the last last week. Oh, it's the last week, is yes. it? Yes, <gasps> yeah. Ooh. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. No, thank you very much. Don't you go anywhere, because we will be back in four minutes' time with sewing machines and bags and all sorts of things. We will see you in four minutes from... Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil, and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Becky alexander Frost. And Sewing Street have asked me to join their team as one of our guest designers. I own a sewing pattern design company. My pattern design company is RJAF Makes. RJAF Makes is my initials. Um, even though it's Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost, um, I prefer being known as Becky and you guys get to call me Becky. I've been sewing just over 28 years thanks to my mother who taught me and I'm now bringing patterns to Sewing Street. So I look forward to seeing you guys.
Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in the school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So, number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and Sewing Street have asked me to join their team as one of our guest designers. I own a sewing pattern design company. My pattern design company is RJAF Makes. RJAF Makes is my initials. Um, even though it's Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost, um, I prefer being known as Becky and you guys get to call me Becky. I've been sewing just over 28 years thanks to my mother who taught me and I'm now bringing patterns to Sewing Street. So I look forward to seeing you guys. Did she just say you can call me Becky? She's Baffa. Baffa is only because when we first met each other, I couldn't remember if she was Alexander Frost or Frost Alexander. So she became Becky Alexander Frost, Frost Alexander. And then someone on Facebook nicknamed her Baffa. And now everywhere you go on, oh, there's Baffa with you. Is Baffa here? Where's Baffa? So everyone knows. So, but maybe she's changed now. She can only be called Becky now because she's got up in the world. Anyway, anyway, anyway. YouTube, September the 12th, while I remember, Gary did the most brilliant um, demonstration on this sewing machine on September the 10th. Now, what Gary doesn't know about sewing machines isn't worth knowing, so I'll give you a quick shimmy round it, but I suggest if you want to, go and have a look at YouTube, September the 10th, and Gary does one of his brilliant, brilliant, brilliant shows. Right, the most important thing is, um, 
Well, now, Gary, Gary, Gary said, right, uh, during this time, not just here at Sewing Street, but worldwide, during lockdown, one of the biggest, well, it wasn't Gary told me, it was on Newsnight, but more sewing machines have sold worldwide during lockdown than ever before, right? We have found in the last few weeks since we brought in split pay, well, it's not even a few weeks, is it? You have gone crazy, crazy, crazy for your sewing machines. And now you'll notice, normally on a sewing machine now, we'd have this one or that one or this one or that one. We have very, very, we're getting more, we will be getting more, but like Gary said, with Juki, their demand has been so huge, he doesn't know when he'll be able to get any more. Now, I'm going to be totally and utterly honest up front with you, like I always am, we've only got two of these left. You won't get this one, this is our showroom one. Showroom? That's a bit old-fashioned, isn't it? This is one we use on the show, right? We have two in, they come directly from Juki, they come directly from the Juki warehouse. Um, and there are two sitting there waiting to go to two lucky buyers. If you are lucky enough uh, to be able to get this, then there are two of you that will be able to get it, right? Now, I need to just explain. Keep on that for the minute, because I just want to explain here about split pay, right? So the machine itself costs £2,795. Before I go to split pay, you're getting a free gift here of £160. Now, Cattle tell us what those feet are later. We don't have them here. They're already at, they're at Juki, packed with the sewing machines to be sent out. So let's go here, right? So the cost of the machine is two. Now I understand, I totally and utterly understand that that is a considered purchase. Completely and utterly understand that. However, because it's over £790, you can get this. You can pay for it all in one go if you want to. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. But if you want to, you can take advantage of our five split pay payments on this machine. So you could take this today for your first payment of, what is it, £559. Now, you would be paying your post and packaging today. You will be paying your post and packaging today. Um, so that will, you'll add your, it's only £3.95. It's still only £3.95, which I think is brilliant that it gets delivered to your door directly from Juki in its box and everything like that for £3.95. But you say so you're getting a machine for £2,795 plus £160 worth of free goodies, first payment of five, no percent interest, £559. Then each month, another £559 pay again for five, five months, and then that's it done. That's it done. Say that again, Elliot. Right, okay. Are you going to show a picture? No, 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 I just didn't know where you were going there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the price it sells for. This is the price it sells for. That's why uh, we can't find anywhere else that does uh, the £160 worth of feet. So I'm thinking that may be an exclusive from us. But uh, we have seen it for sale for this price elsewhere. If they've got stock, because it's not just us. Everybody, everybody's having a fantastic time with the machines. Right, before I take you around the machine, shall we have a look at some slides all about the machine? And then we can look at the actual physicality of it when we've gone through the slides. So here we go. It's got a sewing speed of 1,050 uh, SPMs. It's got 351 stitches. It's got four alphabetic and numeric fonts. The maximum zig zigzag width is seven millimeters. That's a seven millimeter is the width stitch, stitch width. The five millimeters is your man maximum stitch length. Uh, it's got 20 buttonholes. 20 buttonholes, you've got adjustable foot, foot pressure. The machine weight is 33 pounds, so this isn't a machine you want to be taking to classes. Once this is set up in your sewing room, it's set up in your sewing room. And then they are the dimensions there, the 23 inches by 12 inches by 9.5. Okay, right, before I go on to the next slide, I just want to point out this throat space here. If you are a quilter, not only have they made the throat space longer, it's also higher. And there's LED lights in here, so it's not going to get hot. So you don't have to worry about that your quilt getting rub rubbing against hot um, light bulbs or anything like that there. See, so that's your lovely big throat space there. Uh, let's have a look at the next slide then. Here we go. So about the technical feature. It's got a colour touch panel, which I shall show you about. Allows you to change the settings, such as the thread tension, the pressure foot, press up foot pressure, all of that sort of thing. You've got an easy to use digital tension. 
you've got a large illuminated workspace. Oh, there you go. That's what I was just talking about there. So you've got dual LED lighting and look at the size of the workspace. It's 22.4 by 13.6 inches. Right, hang on a second. I just need to... Oh, the tape measure's gone. I, th I think that's not this. That's not the foot. That's the workspace it's talking about here, which I'll show you about in a second. Level of brightness can be adjusted on the lights if they're a bit too bright. And then you've got a presser foot pivot function. So the pivot function is when you come, you can set it so that when it comes to the end of a line of stitches, the needle stays down, the foot lifts up automatically. You can twist it round, set off again, the foot goes down and off you go until you come to the next stop. You can set it so it cuts your thread or it doesn't cut your thread. It does so much. It does so much, this machine. More technical features on this slide. So on this one, you've got interchangeable straight sticks feed system, which I shall show you that in a second. You've got a buttonhole sensor system, which I'll show you in a second. And it's equipped with Juki Smart Feed, which is the dual feed function to move the top layer of your fabric in sync with the lower. So that's like your um, walking foot, isn't it? That's like it's, it's, all in, it's all equipped with it. And then it's got an automatic thread trimming, which is what I said. You can set it so that when you get to the end of the stitch, it stops, it lifts the foot and it cuts the thread. Now you don't have to have it, you don't have to have that, but you can set it to do that automatically if you want to. Okay, is there another one? Here we go. Right, now these are the feet you get with you. You get a standard presser foot, you get a zipper foot, you get an overcast foot, you get a blind stitch, a buttonhole, I'll show you the buttonhole foot, manual buttonhole, open toe presser foot, patchwork presser foot, quilt guide, seven meter meter, seven meter, no, seven millimeter guide foot, quarter inch foot, and a quilt presser foot for the ruler work. Oh, oh, so that's brilliant. How much do they normally cost? How much does the rule, the one that you know, use with rulers, how much does that one normally cost? Comes automatically with this, I know. Last one now. Here we go. Now, the, remember I said about the, the free feet you get worth 160 pounds. Right, so you get a sew set, bias binder foot, a sew on but button foot, a narrow zip foot, a concealed zip foot, a piping foot, and a rolled hem foot. Right, hang on, do you get all of these? Yeah, then you get a stitch guide, uh, uh, what does that say, stitch? I think I might say stitch. Stitch guide foot, braiding foot, fringing foot, open toe foot, cording foot, beading foot. Oh, this is brilliant. And then additional, you get a quarter inch foot with a guide, 10 extra bobbins, one shank adapter, and one open toe free motion foot. That is fantastic. That's the free gift you get from us. Well, I suppose, I suppose if you think about it, they're all about £20, £30 each, each of those feet. So it works, it works out a really good deal at £160. <gasps> Isn't that fantastic? So there's no more slides. Have a look at the machine here, right? So if you look at the front, here is the, here's the um, screen it was talking about. Everything you need is all on this. Oh, now if you go to do something you're not supposed to do like this, it tells you, it won't let you do anything you're not supposed to do. Now look, look at this one, right? So we're on a straight stitch here, right? The reason it beeped at me, can you see this, right? Because we don't need, all that's moved, nothing's happening because you're not allowed to do that. This one here is your stitch length. Now what, this is important, watch that picture there. You ready? Can you see? Right, that's, as you, that's your maximum, but look. Goes right, oh, goes down to nothing. 0.4 millimetre stitch. Oh, blimey, imagine I'm picking that one. But look, goes all the way up. Now, this should go up to five millimetres. There you go. Isn't that brilliant? It's got so many different functions on here. Oh, hang on. Going to files, you've got your, what's this thing? USB setting there. You've got, uh, this is, look, all of your option settings going on in there. You've got your information here about changing a needle and all sorts of things like that. You can lock it. Oh, now. I have to tell you, last time I did this, I locked it and I couldn't unlock it. Oh, no. Hold it down. No, I think you have to do this. There is, uh, I'm sorry, I should have looked it up last time I did it. Um, if you switch it off and switch it back on again, you'll be fine. Even, look at this, this is just brilliant. Everything you need on here, will, it will switch itself on in a second. There we go. Oh, I have to let it warm up a little bit. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Right, let's put, let's put it on. Um, oh, come on. Oh, tick, 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 sorry. I should, there you go, was miss, I was in, in, ignoring the tick. Look at all your different stitches here. All the different, and you just literally click on them. Look, 
to where you want it to go. Now, how many stitches did it say? Oh, return the upper feed dog. Oh, you see, so I've, I've, I've got the feed dogs down, you see. So it's telling me it's not going to let you do anything that you're not allowed to do to the machine. Oh, I've got to do the feed dogs. Hang on. 351 stitches. I've got to do the feed dogs for you in a second. Here are all the stitches. Look at this. So you've got your straight stitches, your zigzag stitches, your embroidery stitches, your satin stitches, your 20 buttonholes. All in here. All up there. I mean, they're just fantastic, aren't they? Um, and then what else have you got? You've got your bobbin threader. It'll be an, all, um, an independent bobbin threader on there. You've got your different, um, all your different um, alphabets going across the bottom here. All going on there. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Um, now, th let me show you, because you're mostly going, where, where do the feet live? Where are the feet? Where's the, oh, by the way, you've got, this is your thread cutter. That's your needle up, needle down. That's your press the foot up and down. But you're mostly probably thinking, well, where, where are all my feet? There's nowhere for my feet. This, it all they all come in this, look. They all come in this. On the overhead, I'll put it down like that. Look. Look, so they all, so now, that was the other needle plate we were just talking about in the instructions. So if you want to do straight stitch, a very good straight stitch, use this one because there's just one little hole there for your needle to go up and down. It'll stop that. You know, sometimes when you straight stitch, if you do chiffons on it and it pulls the fabric through, won't do any of that. So I'll just lift this up because underneath here, there's your buttonhole foot, right? Can I get this out? Now, it comes with a stabiliser plate, so you put your fabric in between there. But... You also plug this into the side of the machine and it tells the machine how thick the fabric is. Because that you, what you do is you put your button, you put your button in there so it knows how big that this is the one that tells you how thick your fabric is. So if you're going from chiffons to thick wools to leather or something like that, that will know by, that, by plugging that in. It plugs, just plugs into the side there. Look at all these different feet. Now these are the feet that I listed. I'll leave it where it is. These are all the feet that I listed earlier. Now, I've just got to point something out here. You only get three bobbins, really. But in the 160, you got an extra 10, didn't you? In the, in, so you'll be able to fill all your bobbins in here. And then you'll have all the... These are the feet that automatically come with the machine. Don't worry about this. These aren't ones that you have to... Or oh, will I get the free gift? Will I won't tell you? None of that. All of these feet come with the machine. You've also got all your other things you expect, the ones that you put on the end of your bobbins. You've got your quick unpick. You've got your extender to put your thread on. You've got needles in there. Everything you need. I'll just put that one away. Now, hang on. It did say something else I was supposed to point out, didn't it, earlier? What was the other thing I was going to point out? Oh, now, you're most probably looking at this. It doesn't come with a gubbins box. Oh, we're looking at the wrong place. It doesn't come with a gubbins box, right? This is how it looks like. It's free arm. It's got a free arm. No, no, that's the wrong one. The free arm's here. There you go. There's your free arm. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Comes with this huge table with the legs. I'll just turn it around so you can see it. Look, with the legs that have little adapters on the bottom of them. So if your table's not quite even... You literally just screw this around to make it even. There's two more there and there. But look at that as a workspace. How brilliant is that? Now, because it's a machine that's not going to be carried around, right? It doesn't come with a hard case. It comes with this lovely case like this. So when it's sitting in your workroom, you can have this on it, which will keep it all dust-free and everything like that. You can keep... All your, oh, i tell you what you can put in there. Uh, 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 um, all the other feet, all the other feet that you've got, sort of thing. There's a big pocket on the back for you to put your instruction manual in. But actually, you know what? Do you know what? I mean, I know I've, I should sit, that should sit and read this really because I didn't know what to do then when it made that funny noise at me. Every single thing you need. Also. Duke, you have an incredible follow-up system. You know, like if you've got any problems, there's a number you might get, Gary. You might get Gary answering the phone. You might get Neil answering the phone. You can get any of them answering the phone, but they're all experts. They are all experts in their own right. Um, now, you do get... Let me just pick this up. This, is, I'll put it on the table, is a programmable foot pedal. So you think you can, if you're like me, old-fashioned like me... Or, oh, let me not... I won't press it in case it sets it off. I'll just unplug that. Right, what you can do is you just use it like a normal foot pedal. Right?
But this one here, this is programmable, so this can cut your thread, it can take it backwards, it can do all sorts. It's about got over five different things that you can um, plug in or set, not plug in, but set into your foot pedal. And so you can do other, you can cut your thread from your foot pedal and things like that. It's just incredible. Um, now, I understand it's considered purchase. Um, we only have two left and, oh, and it's got, it's got a two-year warranty as well. It's got a two-year warranty as well, I'll point that out. Um, so what happens is uh, if you place an order today, um, as soon as the order gets to Juki, which will be tomorrow, it will be dispatched from Juki within 48 hours. So it'll be with you, with, with you five days, maybe. Depends where the weekend sits, doesn't it? Hmm? Yeah, and split pay as well. Five monthly payments of £559. Oh, you can pay it all in one go if you want to. You don't have to take, you have the choice. Because when you come to check out, there'll be a little box and it gives you the option, do you want to take split pay out or not? 0% credit though. 0%. So you won't, won't be thinking, oh, if I, if I don't pay it this month, I'll then, you know, it'll be more next month. No, you know that for five months, £559 will come out. You know that. Apart from this first month, where if you haven't done P&P &P on anything else today, your P&P &P of 395 will be taken as well. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. It's a fantastic, let me take the cover off. It's a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic machine. I've got friends who've got this machine, and well, um, my friend Jenny's got it, and she wouldn't be without it. She just absolutely loves it. She said there's so many things going on. She hasn't learned what everything is yet. But she just, she just said it makes her life so much easier. She's a professional sewer. Makes her life so much easier. You don't have to be a professional sewer. Perfectly good for your work group. Uh, you will grow. Oh, now, now. They say, don't they, buy a machine. Not one there where you are at the moment, one you're going to grow into. You'll be growing into this one for a long time. It does so much. It's a fantastic, glorious machine. And it comes with the backing of Juki. Now, Juki, what did Gary say? They sell 40% of the world's uh, machines or something like that. And also, Juki come from a, an industrial background. This isn't an industrial machine, but they come from an industrial background. So they understand what you want out of a machine. And like I say, if, you've got, if you get stuck on anything, if you don't understand anything, you can just give them a call and they will help you. Their experts are there to help you. They also do, we don't do these, but you can go on um, a Juki course. They do courses, they have five different places around the country and you can go for a day at, you get lunch and everything I believe, you can go for a day at Juki and they will give you a, a lesson about the whole thing. And as I say, there's five different places around the country you can go. Uh, one's in Colchester, I think one's in Salisbury, I can't remember where the others are. But anyway, if you're thinking about it, we've only got two, only got two available and we don't know. And I'm not, at, this is not me, uh, can I just say? This is not me adding any undue pressure because I understand this is a considered purchase. But Gary actually said when he was in last, he doesn't know when the next batch, not just to us, but are coming into the UK or coming in from the warehouse or from coming in from the manufacturers. He doesn't know. And he's one of the top men there. So if you are thinking, oh, I did really want one of those by Christmas. If these two go today, I can't guarantee that we'll have another delivery before Christmas. Just saying... Just saying, I, what I don't want is I don't want anybody to overspend because I know there's nothing worse, is there? Do not overstretch yourself. But how brilliant that if maybe two months ago you were thinking, oh, I'd love one of those, but I haven't got £2,795 to part with. You only have to pay, five, I say only, it's still a considered purchase, but you can get this to deliver to your house for £559, five payments, that's it, of £559. Oh, paid for by February, look. Elliot's saying, paid for by February. Okay, I better get on because I've only got a few minutes left, haven't I? Uh, so, um, I need to walk over to the side. Have a look at Message Studio, just while I walk over. Because you don't want to see me mincing across the studio, do you? Oh, there's the Facebook group as well there. That's the Facebook. Is that the one I see on the live? Or is that a different one? Anyways, loads there. Oh, Becky Allen's under frost. Oh, I didn't see, I didn't see Jerry's. Right, okay, right, this out. We, we won't go on to, I've got an Elna overlocker behind here, but need to look at this light first, because we were supposed to, this is how it arrives. It's nice and heavy, this. Uh, that's how it will arrive at your house. How much is it? 73 99 
uh, pure light, tri-spectrum, rechargeable, magnifying, LED floor, table and desk lamp. Well, I'll tell you now, let me move that box out of the way. So, if you want it as a good old-fashioned angle poise lamp on your desk. Oh, now, has it been charged up, Kat? Oh, no. Not been charged up, so I can't show you the different light sources on it. Anyway, I'll show you what it can do size-wise. I need one of these. There's a magnifying glass on the top there. Can you see that there? Oh, I bent it down like that. There you go. I've done it now. There you go. Magnifying glass there. Oh, magnifying my belly. That's good, isn't it? Magnifying glass there with this lovely swan neck, which bends backwards and forwards. Very, very malleable. And this very, this isn't going anywhere. This is nice, heavy, heavy base here. Now, if you're thinking, oh, but John, my desk's not that big. I can't fit that big base on my desk. Well, not to worry, because you can put it in here. Look. Uh, Oh, I thought you said put it down the table, right? So look, look at this, right? So you can put it here. Oh, no, hang on. No, it's got, there's a bit of wood in the way. Uh, no, no, there's a bit of wood in the way. But yours, a normal table, would fit nicely on there. So, so you can have it on the side of the table there. But also, what you can do is, I'm not going to do it now. You can unscrew this. This can go in here. That one can go on the top of there, so you can still have the flexi top, right? I'm not going to do it because it'll hit, it'll hit the lighting rig and everything like that. So you could, I, I wouldn't use the, the, when it's got, oh, oh little plastic things going over there. I wouldn't use this and this together. Well, you would, why would you? Because that means it would be like six foot above your table, wouldn't it? But if you've got that on the floor, then you've got that. Then you've got the flexi on the top of that. You could be sitting in your armchair doing a bit of hand stitching. I'm just going to pick that thing up so it doesn't get lost. Um, you can do um, a little bit of stitching while you're sitting in your armchair. Let's have a just look at the, the um, science. It's three colour temperatures you've got on there. You've got 200 lumens. The magnifying glass is twice. Mains or battery, 20,000 hours. And it's energy savings because it's LED, look. They're the different colour, what, 3,000, 5,000 and 6,000. They're the different colours. Well, they're not colours, they're kind of daylight, warm light and things like that, aren't they? Daylight, tungsten and something else, Elliot's saying. Anyway, how brilliant is that? All that for 73.99. Doesn't have to be sewing. I need one. I, I need, that'd be ideal by my bed to read my book at night time. Because sometimes you, when you get to a certain age like me, you um, need a stronger light than a magnifying glass, don't you? And things. I've just put this over here. Right now, I've got a sewing machine bundle here. Well, it's, it, is it called a sewing machine bundle? Is it? it now, now, if you've bought the Juki. This, th this, I don't want to say don't buy this, right? The machine won't fit into this bag. If you bought the 550 or the 560 or the 570, I think the 680 fits in here as well. The 680 will squeeze in here. So the bundle is a bag, the mat, the bobbins, and the needles. Oh, no, but the needles are free. The needles are free. So, you, for your 36.98, you get the bag, which will fit up to the 680, right? Um, you will get the, this wonderful mat, which I'll tell you about in a second, the bobbins, and then you get 550. 550's worth of needles completely for free. Oh, I've done the same thing again. I do apologise, everyone. There you go. Just nice, but, but uh, th if you've bought the Juki, the Juki does not fit into this machine, into this bag. Okay. Now that's 36 pounds and 98 pence for all four of those items, right? All four of those items. Now I can do the bag on its own. So hopefully I'll have the measurements of the bag now. Right, so, is it not on here? I thought I saw it in here. Oh no, is that weird? I could have sworn I saw it on there this morning. Anyway. Length, width and height. 46 centimetres length, 20 centimetres width, and 30 centimetres high. I just need to tell you that Teresa says, I've got that lamp in my sewing room and I didn't realise how much I needed it. 
Teresa in Uckfield. Thank you, Teresa. So it's one of those things, it's like, like an overlocker. You don't need, you need one until you get one, do you? Anyway, fantastic if you go to class, fantastic if you take your machine out. We see now, I take my machine. My machine is actually in the back, in my boot of my car right now because I take it from my house to my studios in Western Supermare. My friend next door, neighbour friend Chris, she borrowed it last week. You know what I mean? So I'm always flitting around. I, and I don't, you don't want to take it in the great big polystyrene, the big box all the time, do you? This would be perfect. In fact, I might have one of these. How much are they? $12.99? It is a very affordable bag, that one, isn't it? So that's the... the Oh, does the Juki 2000 Overlocker fit in the bag? Oh, I can see it on the floor over there. I'm not sure that it would. I don't think this is wide enough. Carol. Well, it, you could, couldn't you not put it down? Has it not got telescopic? But I, d I don't know. Well, I don't know. Does it not say on our website how big the machine is? Anyway, my answer, Carol, will be I don't think it does, so don't risk it. I don't think it, We're all in agreement. We don't think it does. And we don't want to put you off, but I also don't want you to get it home and go, oh, John said it would. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, moving on. Moving on. So let me do the mat next then on its own. I've got the mat, haven't I? Yeah. You see, I need one of these. These are brilliant, right? This, right, first of all, if you sew after the kids have gone to bed, this is fantastic because it does absorb noise, right? It does um, you might have a really beautiful uh, sewing machine that doesn't rattle or anything like that. But this, when you put this, I'm going to show you just by putting my fingers into the mat, right? Think of the weight of a sewing machine. This, um, what's the word? I want to say dissipate, but I'm not sure if that's the right word. Will spread the weight of your machine. So can you imagine if that was on your table the whole time, your sewing machine was on your table all the time, it's going to mark, isn't it? This would be perfect. It's also, like I say, it absorbs sound, it absorbs vibrations. It's also got a, Camford, I think this is called, isn't it? Edge, hasn't it? Fifteen ninety nine. So if you've got a big sewing machine, um, I don't know if that Juki would fit on it, would it? My six eighty fits on it beautifully. I've got the six eighty plus L now, and it fits on it beautifully. Uh, or you could put an overlock on it as well. Five ninety fifteen five fifteen ninety nine yeah now also when I come to talk about the Elna machine next the, uh, the El Elna um, overlocker it's got suction <coughs> things on the bottom so you might not need this to go if you buy that but I'd always put something down just to protect my table fifteen ninety nine there it is overlocker very quickly I've only got a couple of minutes so I'll tell you about this right so now this hasn't been displayed by Jane has it this is the one that's been displayed by Debbie Shaw, right? Debbie Shaw, this is the Elna Extend 864 Air Overlocker. Right, you're thinking, what does that mean, John? Well, here, you know when you have to thread your lower loopers, you don't need to thread the lower loopers in this one. All you do is you pop the thread in there, you press the button, it goes whoosh, and it's threaded for you. You still have to top, do the top two threads, but the top two threads are like doing the sewing machine. They're very, very easy. The difficulty, the ones that are slightly difficult are the ones at the bottom loopers and they're all done for you by air. Now look at the price. You could get split pay, three payments, this one, three payments of £233. But obviously uh, you'd pay your P&P today as well. You'd pay your P&P to get the time. Got slides of this one very quickly. The thing is you only pay one P&P for the whole day. So if you've already bought some things, Right, you don't need to, oh, here's some slides, not to me. Right, the new air threading system makes it effortless to thread your machine, a time-saving feature for tangle-free sewing. It's got the air threading system, which said you can do two, three, or four thread overlocking. It's got a built-in needle threader, which is very unusual on an overlocker. Adjustable differential feed, if you're gonna do different fabrics or you're gonna do your rolled hem. You've got a five-level presser foot system, the pressure dial, eight-piece feed dog system, two thread converters. Uh, you've got a maximum sewing speed uh, to, oh, it's fast, 1,300 SPMs. You've got a five and a half millimetre presser foot height. Uh, that's if you're doing thick fabrics. You can, fit, you can lift a foot up high. Manual thread tension control, built-in LED lighting, upper and lower looping threading. Oh, that's brilliant. There's more. Here you go. Five-level press foot, I've said all of that there. 
Uh, you've also got built-in needle threads. Well. It's everything I've just said, look. Just to point out where it is. Next slide. Air threading system, built-in needle threader, five level press of foot pressure, and a feed dog system, the feed dogs, five feed, feed, feed dog system. And this one, you can either have one or two needles. The lip stitch length is from one to five millimetres. You've got an upper knife opening of 10 millimetres, adjustable cutting with using left needle and right needle, maximum speed. And now this is the important thing. So you use four thread programmes to overlock, stretch, knit, decorative or gathering. Three thread programmes to do overlock, regular and wide, rolled hem, narrow hem and pico hem, flat lock and pin tucks, or the two thread for flat lock or rolled hem. It also comes with your um, thread catcher, your waste tray there. You've got all the dials, the differential feed and everything you need on there. You get a little box of goodies. Oh, you've got a list of what you get in the little box of goodies. I thought the idea of having robotic cameras is well, I could put it anywhere and the camera would find me. List? We got the list? There you go. Inside your accessories box, screwdrivers, large and small, tweezers, needles, net, spool cap, lint brush, oil tube, spare upper blade, which is fantastic. You shouldn't need it, but if you run over a pin, double-ended spanner, needle holder, loop threader wire, waste tray, well, the waste tray doesn't come inside the accessory box. It's too big. Foot controller and your dust, cov and your dust cover. I haven't got either of those here to show you. Um, it's fantastic. And you do get an Elna two-year warranty, remember, and you get an extensive uh, instructions manual. And if, if you get stuck on any of it, give them a call in Stockport. Uh, you might get Lucy Brennan answering the phone to you to, to explain about it. I imagine she'd, she'd pass you on to a... Um, overlocking expert and not that she's not an expert but I imagine you know what I mean and the thing that's brilliant about Elna is if you ring with a question and they don't know the answer they call you back almost straight away and, it, and they're still working even during these tough times they send Lucy to they lock her in an office with a mobile phone and she can still do all your calls and everything like that I know fantastico right got five minutes left oh and, and I've, I've said split pay haven't I and I've got a limited amount as well I think I've got is it six of those I've got oh five Five of those I've got. That's all, five of those. Okay, so now, ver oh, no, let me talk to you about this next. If you're going to buy an overlocker, this is a fantastic uh, box of threads to buy. Now, no, it's not our graphics, it's the box, isn't it? Right, let me explain it to you, right? So for $74.99, you get all of these basic thread colours, right? So I'll start at this end, you get four black, you get four dark grey, four light grey, four white, ignore the next ones, and four beige. On the side of the box, it says these four are ivory. Now, you may get four ivory, and if you don't get four ivory, you'll get four white. But when we did have the ivory and the white ones, there's such a tiny, tiny, tiny amount a uh, difference in the colour. It doesn't matter if you get the ivory and white or the white, the white. You will still get that many threads. I, the only reason I point it out is because if you look at the side of the box here, I'm going to tip it up so Elliot can see it. Oh, you got it. Blimey. One miracles do happen. Look! That's ivory, that's white. On the side of the box, it says you get four ivory, four white. You might get eight white. But look, uh, it won't make any difference. You'll still get all those threads. So you're getting... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, 24 threads for your overlocker for $74.99. I know. I know. Okay. Moving on. Where would you like to go next then? Our pattern. Lurex thread. It's fabric, but it's got the thread running through it. That's what you call it when it's woven. It's what? Oh, it's navy, this one. Dark grey. Have a look. This is your chance to buy... Let me see, I think it's grey. Uh, this is your chance to buy this by the half metre. I can't 
can't get that out. Pa Throat size the same. She say where you are. Where's the tape measure gone? Oh, no, it isn't. It's on the floor here. Right, the throat size. You stay on. Well, you don't stay on that fabric, but I can tell you the throat size now. 12 inches in length by... Four inches, five inches in depth, five inches in depth. 12 by five, 12 by five. That was it in inches. That's the only sewing machine I've had today, so that's the Juki I'm talking about there. Right, okay. Oh, now I need to explain this to you. I haven't talked about this. Right, it's fluffy on one side, so lovely to wear, and then glittery on the other side. And it's um, got a stretch to it, just a two-way stretch. Uh, what would you make with this? Sweater dress, maybe? Or some, like, um, lounging pants. 145 centimetres wide, that one. I don't know what, it'll be a polyester mix, that one, I'm imagining. Oh, no. Apparently it's 90% cotton and 10% lurex. Who knew? Here's the pink version. Now, can you see that that's glittery as well? Okay, so Kat's going to make herself something to wear on Christmas Day out of this. Oh, did you work in that day? Well, that seems like there's going to be an awful lot of people in on Christmas Day at this rate. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. Ninety percent cotton, ten percent lurex. Is that pink cotton? Oh, there you go. It says pink cotton in the graphic. Look, pink cotton lurex. 145 centimetres wide. Lovely. And then completely different dressmaking fabrics. So I've got this blue. Do you need the code? Okay. So this. Oh, it is similar to my shirt, but it's. Oh, sorry. It's not quite the same, is it? Look. Almost. It's a different. My shirt's cotton. And this one here is a cascade viscose, very good, if, a breathable, viscose, very breathable. Made, it's a man-made fibre, but made out of natural, um, natural fabrics, natural ingredients. Lovely. Seven ninety-nine for half a metre. Lovely. Right, then I'm moving on to like um, a coral coloured one now. Your coral with spot and very big flowers. Right, we've got to go quickly. There you go. This one is Showering Vine Salmon. Again, it's a viscose. Chalice. Lawn. Yeah. But it's not cotton. It's not cotton. It's viscose. Right? It's just the weight of the lawn. If you know your Liberty Lawns, it's the same weight as that. Right, you know, then this one here, which is slightly more textured, which I love. I think this one's called Array, isn't it, this one? Chalk, they've called this colour. Uh, and this one is, again, a viscose fabric, slightly heavier than the first two. And then last but not least, this is beautiful. This is a koi carp, this one. Very, very drapey. Very drapey. Make yourself sarong or a serape out of this. Yes. It's got a crane on as well, but the it's, I think it just says koi in the thing, doesn't it? Oriental koi, teal, viscose, lawn weight, seven ninety nine for half a metre. Um, Jerry, they've messed, they've replied to you. The bunnies are sold out, I'm afraid. Oh, Jerry, right, Jerry, see this number here? See this number here? Ring that number. 0800 001 4433. It's a call centre just around the corner. They'll help you. But the bunnies have sold out, I'm afraid. Right, have a look at tomorrow's menu. It's not me tomorrow. It's fixed tomorrow. So she's got five... No, she hasn't. Four hours. It's Thursday tomorrow. Fabrics to brighten up your morning at eight o'clock. She's got the Sew so Girl Edith Tunic with Fiona Hesford at nine o'clock. She's got adjuster form and dressmaking tools at 10 o'clock. Now, remember, adjuster forms are on split pay. Then at 11 o'clock, she's got the Sew so Girl Ursula Cotigan, blimey, with Fiona. And then 12 o'clock, there's a repeat of, well, it's just Sashko. 
It's just Sashka. There's no embroidery on it. It's just Sashka because it's my eight o'clock from this morning. Are we done? I've got 50 seconds. Thanks ever so much for your company. Uh, when am I in next then? Oh, Saturday. I'm doing Christmas Saturday. I've got Janice and I've got Living in Loveliness Kerry on with me as well. It's a five hour show on Saturday. So make sure you put five hours to one side. Make sure you're sitting there with your Christmas jumper on. I've got to try and find my Christmas outfits. I might just wear something sparkly. No, don't worry. I don't want your dad's suit. Thank you, Cap. Right, thanks ever so much, company. I've got to go off to Western Superman now. So I will see you on Saturday morning. Vix will be with you on Friday and Thursday. I've done that the wrong way around. Take care. Bye-bye. We're only going to pay one lot of postage all day.